Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our adventure. I just realized something that um, but I am continuing my adventure here in Mass Effect 1. And I had to do the last bit of the last play uh, session. I had, I had to do it over again because I apparently didn't save. So I just had to turn in the Emily Wong bug quest, talk to command, and be like, Oh, your interview was pretty good, except you revealed Saren to the public. And then uh, go and get Kohaku's uh, diddly D. Luckily, that's all that I missed. But, as I said, we are going to check out this asteroid. And then we're going to deal with Cerberus before jumping around the various places, looking for side quests that might just jump up at us. Jump up. Maybe it's space. We're going to... go into an asteroid. Alright, super special. Status. Sensors yeah, super three fusion torches propelling asteroid Super special cutscene time. Didn't realize. At or didn't expect, really. The asteroid will collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. Not Terra. Analysis. Torches must be disabled to cease the acceleration. Well, let's land. Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Who's doing this, psychopathy? Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. Oh, we're all gonna die. God, I hope you're hearing this. I mean... We were going to shut down the fusion torches anyway. Fusion torch, fusion torch, fusion torch. Transmission tower. So I guess hit that transmission tower, diddly dee. Hopefully there's not. Then again, it's four hours. That would be an interesting thing to look at. If you wait four hours on this diddly dee, will it actually take you four hours? There are enemy bogey signs. Towers, it looks like. We're headed in the right direction. I don't know who you are, but I'm damn it. Go. These towers, yep. Silence, Foon. I am the god. These guys came prepared to keep people from messing with their plans. Either that or they hijacked this one. Yeah, either that or they hijacked the systems to properly do this. Either or, really. So either somebody took over the defenses this place would have had, which is like, why would an asteroid have these kinds of diddly, these defenses? Or somebody came and put these defenses on. Oh. The fuck are you? Oh, those bastards. Check, check. You will get no checks from me. Release the I thought you already did. Was that the Varen? Ah, more Varen. Can I swap to a different gun to be less overloaded? Apparently so. All right. Am 
my assault rifle is doing good. Dare knock down my sniper. At least that it makes sense. Batarians are trying to crash. I forgot that we have, I keep forgetting that we have a melee. We yeah, have Batarians are trying to get this place to crash into a planet and cause a devastation event. Hey, it's nice that we're actually getting to see what Batarians look like. They're like, ah, they hate us. I wonder what their excuse for this is gonna be. Oh. Misguided patriots. Tried to nuke a planet with an asteroid. We well, yeah, have. I love my burst fire assault rifle right now. I was shocked that there was actually a cutscene for that, though. Did not expect there to be a cutscene. Batarians! Was that a seven? Yes. I hear you. What's going on? Who are you? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. Aren't they all extremists? I think From what I've heard? Torch went out. What do they want? Why are they doing this? I don't know. But if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. And nobody on Terra Nova. Oh. I've got to go. Good luck. I was going to ask, and nobody on Terra Nova sees the meteor flying towards them and go, hey, what's that doing? And then I realize something. They're expecting the damn meteorite. They have an entire team here, and they were bringing it to Terra Nova for some reason. I think for resources, or excavating, or maybe even housing, I forget the specifics. And... Who you? Hey. Lol. Oh god. I didn't mean to... Are you hurt? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Takes more than that one shot to bring me down. Sorry. I didn't even realize you were human until... Well... I'm not much of a soldier. Just be more careful. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this Atwell. Rock. I think Listen, I remember that name. We don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. I already shut one there down. Are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. I understand the situation. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. Why that proximity? we will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. Can you shut them fine. off? You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Where would your crew be? Any idea where I can find Tell them? me where they are and I'll look for them to they make sure they're safe. running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. I'll do what I can. I'll look for them, but the torches have to be my priority. Yeah, you're right. Saving Terra Nova is more important than my team. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. One of them got away. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron. I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Excavate Terra Nova. Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. 
I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one That's does. That's fair. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. Asteroid Why X57. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. Huh. It's a lot a cheaper natural than getting orbital. everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The That's actually a pretty, a pretty interesting idea. And Kate Bowman. What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. They find her. Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. What? Stay out of sight. You'd better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you. Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard. And good luck, Simon Atwell. Yeah, but I swear I've heard the name Atwell before. I can't think of where I've heard at well before. All right, since we're right near, let's see, the main facility. We'll hit the that. I think that's the communication tower. Hit the other two torches, and then head to the main facility. Why is it asking me to go? the perimeter places? Of course, it's up on a surface. That's hard to get to. Darn. I was gonna hope it was gonna be at the base. Okay, maybe it won't be terrible to get to if we boost correctly. We have four hours to shut this all down, but that may not uh, account for other things. Logs. This computer is filled with operation logs and personal journals for a small pirate music station operated by X57's engineers. It includes scripts for several promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X57, rocking this rock since 2182. Radio X57, when your world seems hollow, we help you touch the sky. Radio X57, talk hard. Your last best hope for rock within 300,000 kilometers. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hmm. Alright, new plan. We'll hit that fusion torch, run around, and dibbity dop. I hope the radio meister got away. Who knows? Maybe that's how Simon survived. He was being a radio jockey. Hear me? Getting all kinds of interference. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. See if I can fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing what I'll keep it going. Oh, this is the blast cap zone. My question is... Alright, we're gonna save and then head in. Why would you have motion sensor blast caps around them? Oh, <laughs> it's an insta-kill. <laughs> that amuses me greatly. Warning. Ground penetrating radar detects anti-vehicle demolitions nearby. Proceed on foot. Enemy contact! Where? I, it was coming from the left, and I went away. It's just like, oh, sorry, you're gonna die anyway. Warning. Ground penetrating radar detects anti-vehicle demolitions nearby. Proceed on foot. Alright, I thought the, prox the moment the proximity showed up. Let's... Alright, 
how we go. Probably go fast, we just have to find a way around and through. This is already going to be annoying. So, left was actually my best chance. Well, where the hell is the way through, game? I do not like this stupid shit. Er, proximity based diddly. But it's gonna be hyper annoying to get through. My favorite. How do we get through this stupid stuff? Oh, maybe I need to look at the map more. Maybe. Try to find... The proximity thing is so weird to me. Kind of works, kind of doesn't. your minds. so slightly weird. Well, you've sealed your fate. could just be my mods like my weapon mods because right now I have anti-personnel rounds 25% versus not to mention yeah why is my diddly doing more damage I'm sad oh, fine They're just dancing. Here it comes. Wrong button. Why is holster G? Time to disable torch. Are you there? You've got to hurry. You really pissed them off. Their leaders setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there! Don't shoot, please! No! <sighs> Ugly bastards.
Who's shutting down the torch? That's good. Took him a while to ask. We don't know. I won't ask him again. You could have just said you don't know. It's a legitimate answer. Find this problem and deal with it. Get her out of here! That makes me wonder if I could have just headed to the main facility to try and... If that would have had an effect. Hmm. I kind of want to uh, try something now. I'm going to save one for the next charm upgrade that comes my way. More shield for you. And a shotgun. And I will make a save. I wonder if I could, because they're in the main facility, right? I wonder if I if I head to the main facility, if I could save them. I kind of want to try it. All right, well, I have that 122 anyway, so I'll just head to the main facility now to try and save her. Because they're one few, they're, they're down to one fusion torch. I feel like that should mean that they can't really do anything. Well, can't do much. does still make me feel like if you head to the main facility first, like this is a choice. One of them sneaky implicit choices that they don't really tell you explicitly is a choice. Now I kind of... But that does mean I have to go, I'd have to go through. Where did I make this save? Ah, in here. It was just because the autosave moved up. Okay, I'm going to do a thing. I want to see if I can save them all by heading to the... Main station and uh, save them before doing all of the torches. And maybe that'll even give me some Paragon opportunities. Because I don't know, it just feels like that. And don't worry, I won't make a habit of, oh no, potential thing went wrong, because this is a game of consequences. If it comes down to, like, it very much depends. If it's a mi- it depends how egregiously the- uh, I'm trying to think of the right words. Basically, it depends on how the choice is presented to me. If I know it's a choice. And then depending on if it's a main mission or not. Like these side missions, I feel like I can just be like, eh, screw you. In the wrong direction. You've got to get to those torches. But what if I save you? Again. I guess it open it might only unlock.
Huh, it looks like it might only unlock after we do the torches, maybe. So yeah, this is locked. So we cannot save them early. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. That'd be all I wanted to know. Because they made it feel like that was a choice thing. The Simon Atwell told me their location. Made it feel like that that's a choice. Like, oh, do you go to the towers first or do you save the main thing first? No, it is not a choice. Maybe I've played too many recent, ooh, Choices Matter games. Maybe the Mass Effect people were just didn't think about that. Didn't think that people would jump to the assumptions of what their saving capability could do. Granted, she did say, you're going the wrong way, but at the same, same time, you never know, it could just be her. No, you must save the planet first. But again, kind of weird that they would give me the location to the main building, but then not let me go into the main building. I don't know, it just seems like an odd choice. Normally, if you give someone a location, there's either a, oh, you can't go there now, but this is for later. Ah. Data link between the transmission tower and several survey stations have been restored. Survey station locations are now shown on your map. Oh, for a moment there, I thought it was like, oh, this will show me. Oh, no, uh, I was just, like, uh, taking in, like, okay, did I go to that station? Was that the radio station? I was like, oh, no, that's not the radio station. That was going on in my head. But, uh, before that, I was going to say, oh, will this fix the communication between me and Kate? But then it's like, oh wait, but they already got caught, so the answer is no. Okay, now that we're over here, I'll set to the other survey station so I don't go wibbly-wobbly in the head. And think, oh no, that's just the radio station. body of G. Mendel. The victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered, only to be executed by his sadistic captors. Survey Station 3, final entry, logged by Engineer G. Mendel. The uh, central transmission tower is on the fritz again. No one ever listens to my warnings about the single points of failure. I was surprised on our surface comms work half as well as they do. When Slashes shows up to relieve me, I'll go see if I can get the old girl back up and running. Looks like you were just uh, a bit too late. You currently have 250 items. You are nearing the 300 item limit. You'll be forced to salvage any new items. All right, fine. I'll go salvage. I'll go with salvaging. I wonder what is what junk is considered. Can I multi-select? I cannot multi-select for Omni Gel. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save, and then I'm going to click turn all junk into gel and see what it does. Oh, we know. Okay. 
don't know if that did anything. Oop, wrong button. At least it warns you when you're getting near a limit. Warning, you're getting near the limit, you hoarder. You can only get hoard up to a certain amount, you idiot. I'll junk everything up to level three. Since we're getting new levels of things. I don't think level threes will have any thing of matter to me. Except armor, maybe 50 buff. So let's see, any new snipers, but it goes under the two. Yes. And I'm not getting rid of my Thunder 5. My Thunder 5 whops everything. Wrong button. But nice of the game to let me know that I'm entering into the auto scrapped zone. Still trying to turn with the bound the uh, not the uh, yes trying to turn with the mouse buttons totally hard it doesn't work you only shoot guns but trying to move with uh, just turn around the Mako with only keyboard is a nightmare primarily because it doesn't work you can kind of swerve at the last like a little bit but it doesn't really work all that much. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Looking for outposts. You know, being on a moon-like meteorite would be an interesting setup for, like, a horror movie. It'd be very interesting, I think, if done right. I wonder how many movies take place within the fictional world of a meteorite. As we all know, meteorites do not exist. I'll save all the Omni Gel for. Okay, that was a lot of money. The body has severe burns and shows signs of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. This is Dr. Himes. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. Yeesh. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. Why the Batarians gotta be such bastards? See? We shouldn't be angry at the Turians and the Solarians. We should be racist towards the Batarians. And what's with all the Aryans? Solarians, Turians, Batarians. This seems to be a naming scheme. And of course, everyone speaks English, I just realized. Off in the far future of space with multiple aliens. English. Head to the next fusion torch. 
and a research outpost. Before probably going to find Kate dead. I wonder if anybody will turn out to be a traitor. Well, I mean, nobody was at the music outpost. The pirate radio station. Don't tell me the pirate radio station learned the, lured the Batarians here. But yeah, I feel like there could be something bigger going on. The Batarians show up just in time to hijack a mining operation and natural uh, satellite orbiting way station project for destructive means. that this lightly manned meteor crew is dragging a cataclysmic payload asteroid to their planet for resources and a pre-installed satellite Redefined. way station project. Yes, yes, yes. You have one point to spend that I am saving for my inevitable Paragon upgrade. I don't want to be caught. Take cover. Release the Baron! I'm Commander Shepard, and you are dead. Luckily, they're not smart enough to use environmentals against me. stuff. Because why not? Would be hilarious if the Batarians tried to turn this around. They killed all our people. Because they were trying to fly a meteor into a planet and kill millions. Yeah, but you still killed all our people. You bastard humans. This is why nobody likes you. That shit was thrown away. You want to call me? I guess they just have that station thing there as a, a fail safe in case you went to this one instead of one of the other ones before. Over right getting... there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. All right. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. Peacefully? I didn't think you Batarians knew the meaning of the word. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. You're so killing millions. A, profit. a quick slave grab, nothing more. It's gone too far. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are gonna die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. It is up well, to you. Well, it's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. 
This whole mission's gone to hell, and I'm gonna pay for it. Why follow him? So why do you listen to him? Good question. <laughs> I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Balak wants you dead. And what Balak wants, Balak gets. I can't change that. Forget Balak. You always want to be second in command? <coughs> Get me out of here, and I'll take care of Balak. Then you can start giving the orders. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. <laughs> I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. Quicker. Balak will get what's coming to him. And so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Perfectly. Balak's holed up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. And I can be mean. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. More Paragon. Can I level up? Nope. I'm like halfway to Paragon. At least some of them had some brains. The renegade option would be to throw all caution to the wind and just kill him. But I'm Paragon, and I'm willing to let people walk away if they're not dumb. Don't act dumb! If you're willing to walk away because you see if things have gone too far, fine enough. But if you give me reason, and you don't walk away, you're dead. Survey log, station 2, final entry log by Chief Surveyor R. Montoya. Communications are down and there are non-corporate dropships landing near the main facility. There was flashes of light over the horizon. I can't be certain, but I guess it's high of the arms fire. As per emergency protocol, I'm arming the defense drones. I'm not waiting for my pickup. I'm going to investigate. And only now they start up? Prince and the dust lead off into the east. Let's see. Think we got him, Commander. For Prince and the dust head off into the east. So I'm guessing the east is that way. I hate turning this damn thing around. Fuck off and turn! Well... Looks like he didn't make it far. It looks like he died in from a single shot through his helmet, likely a sniper. Whoever killed him didn't even bother to search his body. There's still equipment in his service pack. Found all the missing engineers. Now, we take on Balak. Doesn't mean we're gonna have to destroy all his defense uh, turrets again. Since that was an alternate timeline where I thought I could actually go places. But hey, good thing that they kind of railroaded us that way, because I got to talk somebody down and get Paragon. I dread to wonder what level of Paragon is required. Dang it, I missed.
I still wonder, are these like built-in turrets or did they bring their own turrets? That is a question that I ponder. In we go. Apparently, he doesn't want to be armed. Wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong button sometimes. Now well, this. Oh yeah, that's where guy got shot in the head. Lol, he went flying. like super overheat juice. Get above it. Get off the wall. Anybody else want to play stupid games? I'm getting close, so I'm going to shift to other gun. You weren't up there before. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. But what are you doing? Let the hostages go, and maybe you'll live long enough to explain yourself to the council. I don't answer to the council. Or do you? You do now. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. It's not that easy. I can't just let you go, Valak. Not after what happened here. This is nothing. You humans have done far worse to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Why blame us? Why take it out on these people? They didn't do anything to you or the Batarians. Didn't do anything? Aside from colonizing a world that could have been ours? Aside from using resources that should have been ours? We were left to defend ourselves. But the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was 
is you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. That doesn't make it right. How does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. That's why we attacked you at Elysium. That's why I'm doing this. You forced our hand. That's not true. You attacked us first. When we retaliated, you ran off to the council hoping for help. When you didn't get it, you hid. You've got no one to blame but yourselves. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. We'll find you again later, then. You can go. But this isn't over. I'll find you eventually. Maybe. But I made sure you won't follow me today. Those charges are still on timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. Ooh, Brother. Super Paragon. Alright. Don't know why I'm... Yay, the game's fucking broken. Why game? Or is it downstairs? Have the ability to uh, look around on the map, please. Like, is it up or is it down? Do you have things on timers? Fucking tell me. Where the fuck is that one? Stamina is way too fucking short. You're gonna have to have me fucking run around all this shit? Give me better uh, uh, stamina, bastards. possible to like kill him and then do everything but oh well this be the choice I was given hate station I press shift and you pulled out my gun but then you didn't actually do anything All demolition charges have been activated. Release the scientists from the prison cell on the lower level. He left. Is that... is that all right? It was the only option. Letting him go was better than the alternative. I thought you were going to stay someplace safe. I... There might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. You did it. Another hour and our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city, the most densely populated region. Yeesh. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Is Katie in here? Is she all right? She's fine. Team? Balak was holding them hostage. I let him go to save them. Let a terrorist go or sacrifice innocent lives. I'm glad that's not a choice I had to make. Is that... Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? I'm not like him. Yeah, he could. Balak seemed like a practical man. Practical but callous. I'm sure if he'd been in my place, Ms. Bowman would be dead now, along with all the terrorists. But I'm not going to sacrifice people who happen to be between me and my target. So what happens now? The bad guys get away? Only for now. Balak gets away today, but we'll still be after him tomorrow. And the day after that. Me, my crew, and every other crew in the Alliance. He'll run and he'll hide. But eventually he'll slip up and we'll get him. Bad guys never get away, Simon. Not unless the good guys give up. Well, I wouldn't want you after me. <laughs> Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many 
ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. You do that, Simon. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. How about your Omni-Tool? I know it's a lot to ask, but that Omni-Tool of yours? I could really use something like that. Shepard, I think I mentioned that you saved my kids and grandkids. What's an Omni-Tool compared to that? Take it, with my blessing. I see blue, I click I blue. I hope you get good use out of it. About your three engineers. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers. Have you found them? They didn't make it. Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh. I... I see. Well, then. I guess it's better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Nine?! I am not reducing that to fucking... Are you nuts? Reduce that to Omnigel? No. Wait. Hmm. Did it only give me two level up points? Or did I waste? I don't know. I'll level up again in the future. I'll use my points on the offense chance that I waste them. Max out your shield. Max out shotgun. I still need to free the hostages. Take all. Hell yeah. Thank you, Paragon. I can't believe you let Ballot go. To save us. I half expected you to just let us die. Sacrifice the few for the many. That's not my way. Then I'd be no better than the Batarian. Besides, Balak won't get away with it. I know who he is now. He can't run forever. <laughs> you sound like my brother. He was always so stubborn, but always willing to do the right thing, no matter what. I'm sorry. I wish I could have saved him, too. It's not your fault. You did what you could. At least Aaron died in the place he loved. He was the one who convinced me to join the team here. Said it would be an adventure. Not exactly wrong, but at the same time, a harsh I, I, adventure. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I should see to Aaron. I won't keep you. I understand. You've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Oh, I don't even know your name. Commander Shepard. Shepard. Commander Shepard. Thank you, Commander Shepard. Not exactly what I expected, but thank you. Hmm. Batarians. What can you tell me about the Batarians? I don't even think they knew. When they first they arrived... They didn't even know. They were talking about getting us back to their ship. They wanted to sell us as slaves. When Balak showed up, everything changed. It was his idea to redirect the asteroid. Said it was the will of the Batarian Rebellion. Whatever that is. They followed him quickly enough, but... I don't know. I don't think they're all as fanatical as he was. Asteroid. How did the asteroid get all the way over here? Why wasn't someone alerted sooner? The asteroid was scheduled to arrive in a day or two. Balak just sped it up. This rock is full of valuable minerals, but it was too far from Terra Nova to be profitable, so we attached some fusion rockets to it and drove it back. It was all going smoothly until we'll get everything back to normal soon enough. Almost everything. And you. That was a brave thing you did, Kate. Contacting me on the radio? Risking your life? Stubborn and determined runs in the family. My father was in the Alliance back on Earth. I think the pacing of the conversation is a little weird. I won't keep you. By the up. way, let me ask you all these questions. You'd be proud of Aaron. Sorry. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I should go. You've been through a lot. I'll get out of your way. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. Thank you, 
so much. I thought we were all dead. Whew. Kind of funny that the Patarian guy was like, I will leave, but you must disable these bombs. By the way, there are also turrets now. They fly. But I made my choice. And hey, at the very least, Bollock has less allies now because they're like, he's crazy. I'm not going to deal with him anymore. I can't imagine how much you've done for all of us. And that out of the way, we fly. Oh, it actually moved. That That's a nice touch. I like that. Let's go to Utopia, see if there's anything there. Zion. Nothing there. Eden Prime. Oh, so this is where Eden Prime is. I wonder if it'll actually say anything. Well, it was one of the first human colonies. Today, Eden Prime is a model of sustainable organized development. The population of house efficiency are... So it doesn't even say. It doesn't even say, oh yeah, and it was invaded. Xanadu. I guess it kind of makes sense that there's... Like, uh... Nothing here. Okie doke. Now we're gonna begin our... Well, actually... We're gonna go after Cerberus. Cerberus. Investigates Yank System in the Voyager Cluster. Yank System Voyager. Voyager. To the Yank system. We're gonna destroy Cerberus. For our boy, Kohaku. Patajiri. Survey. Rare element detected. Dregger. Light metal. Beryllium. Benthu, that's the landable planet that I saw mentioned. Prothean data disk recovered. You detected a weak signal coming from the far side of the planet. Alramater. Joker brought the Normandy around, and your salvage team picked up a small escape pod trapped in orbit. There was a long deturian inside with a few personal items and a Prothean data disk. Alright. Now to Benthu. Benthu has an atmosphere of carbon dioxide with a permanent haze of toxic chlorine and clouds of sulfur dioxide that periodically drop torrents of acidic rain on the surface. Its crust is mainly composed of sulfur of deposit of calcium. Like most worlds in the Voyager Cluster, Benthu has only been charted within the last 20 years by Alliance surveyors. It has no known native ecology. Data about the world is surprisingly brief and generic, painting a picture of an unpleasant and uninteresting place. Well, it's gonna be very interesting once I screw up the dead bodies of Cerberus goons. I'm coming for you, Cerberus! Call me Hades! Cause your owner's here! We land and there's already a surveyable thing on the horizon. Hell yeah! Research, research, research. Rotten bastards is a lot of them. Halidium. Surveyed. Well, 
head to the other thing first before we hit all of the research centers to bring down Cerberus. Also, ha ha ha, there's three research places for Cerberus on this planet. Not sure if it's intentional or not. This will be. Oops, another crash probe. Just waiting for the opportunity. All right. Now your bastards are on my list. Call me Santa Claus, because I'm going to crush you into coal. Hilariously, last time... Ah, oh, we're too far. There is a limit. Sadness. But, hilariously, last time, it was a Cerberus scientist location being invaded. Now we're the ones doing the invading. Granted, last time we didn't know what Cerberus was doing. Die. Die, John Wayne Gacy. Hello, housekeeping. I can't believe I built her sniper rifle and I'm using. Why the fucking empty room? We're gonna know soon though. Alright. Diagnostic station. Rackney? I thought they were hunted to extinction. Don't tell me these guys are like Rackney sympathizers or something. Or maybe they're like the Rackney was powerful against the... But yeah, it said Rachne on the dead bot like when we were f shooting. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. But yeah, the, they said Rachne. Rachne was the bug creatures that, like, pushed the galaxy to the brink of extinction until the Krogan arrived, right? And then the Krogans arrived and hunted the Rachne to extinction. Except not, I guess. Cerberus found more Rachne. Maybe primitive Rachne. Or are, like, trying to recreate the Rachne. Potentially to be like, oh, we can fight against the galaxy with our Rachne army because the Krogan no longer have numbers and are kind of fractured since the genophage. It's like, I only saw the, like, one little diddly for a split second. It was like, I swear it said Rachne. I frickin' swear that it said Rachne. And God help us if they are. Just playing creepy music. Let's save before we head in there. Maybe that's why they did things with the the something maws. 
They were trying to get genetic, like, information. Husks. All right. Thorian Creeper. All right, I don't, I don't think I've heard of you. among the creeper corpses. He must have been at one of the other I labs in the area. Cerberus horrors will find at the next base. The Thorian Creeper. Interesting. So they had Rachne in one. Thorian Creeper on another. What the hell are they trying to get through? What the hell are they looking for? Grenade upgrade. Oh yeah, they're grenade upgrades. I can probably slot into my grenade launcher. For better grenading. And I need to go do things. Yes, yes, I know. I know, I know. All right, this one is okay, I guess. I'll give it to someone else. All right, that's a master of shotgun. You can have the avalanche. You can have firestorm. While I get katana. We go high enough, we get extra slots for mods? Okay, we have a recoil dampener on that one. Okay, awesome. Better sniper rifle with the third slot, with the third slot. I wonder what's considered junk. More accuracy. Better heat absorption, maybe. I think I was looking for. Just want to look over everything. Um, Dippity. Lots of things. Shield bypass. I think I'll go back to shredder rounds. And then definitely going to come down here and turn some of these up to level three into Omni-Gel a little bit. At the same time, these aren't that bad to have. Oh yeah, you guys have less things, so yeah.
Let's see. Nope, no grenade launcher, but let's take a look at some of these. Less accuracy. It's a grenade. Toxic damage. I like the look of that. Let me just come in here and nuke some of these. Doesn't look like we have many. Alright. And since I'm the only one with grenades, I'm going to get rid of duplicates too. It's entirely possible that I am doing irreparable harm to myself somehow. Yeah, with so many sniper rifles, I'm probably gonna go up to level 5 for sniper rifle. I have so many level fours. Stick there. So we have so many shotguns. We'll cut down all the way to level five. Wish that was like a quicker way to do this. They probably. On the one hand, they probably didn't expect this much hoarding. On the other hand, they do allow you to stock up to like 500 weapons and warn you every time you pick up more, well no, 300 I think? Well, they allow you to stock up on hundreds of weapons and start warning you once you get around 250. So, I'll just have to look and see about certain things. I'm gonna go ahead and save after all of that. To the final research data center. Hopefully we won't see you. In the future I will take note of like the levels. We don't want anything below level four or five in the future. We'll head to the anomaly and the destination. This is a pretty planet, despite being toxic, apparently. Research. Surveillance that way. Surveillance indeed. Surveillance indeed. Survey, survey. Survey is all we do. Survey, survey, get paid a fucking lot. I kind of hate the driving in the main coat. Oh sure, you get out on the left side all the time except for when we want to, bastard. Uranium. Good thing we're not gonna- You lead, I'll follow. I think we're not gonna fucking die. Surely our suits can handle radiation of just rocks. Plus, I don't think they've been experimented upon. Then again, I don't know how uranium becomes dangerous, or if it is naturally. Okay, not there. Disarmed. Let's head to the anomaly. Okay. Aliens did ancient Egypt. Prothean data disc recovered. There are a few children's toys and some ragged clothes stuffed inside the top of this monument, along with the Prothean data disc. I'd say that's rude to the Protheans. All things considered, I can. I think I have enough money to get my super sniper. I think I have enough money to get my super sniper from the requisition officer. Whee! Sure, it's gonna be fucking expensive, but boy howdy! Once again. 
Uh, we're going to do things in a weird way. Get out on the right. Uh. Well, since we have tons of Omni Gel right now. Oh, yeah, we're taking that. like Kohaku's corpse is in there. And yep, Arachne. Oh, hey, a biotic. Multiple biotics. Check for a pulse, but find none. Admiral Kahaku is dead. Despite the ferocity of the creature he was sealed in, there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The needle marks on his arms suggest means a different means of execution. Shepard, over there. It's Admiral Kahoku. Yep. Cerberus must have tracked him down. I was hoping that he would have gotten out. But apparently there's one more stop to make. Fine enough for me. I honestly hope there isn't a Paragon way out of this. I want these bastards dead. Kohoku was a good man. He tracked down Cerberus and everything his death won't be in vain. But again, these bastards are making or finding Rachne. That's bad. Wait, yeah, they said one more. Let me check my journal. Hades Dogs. You found location of major servers for head to Nephron in the Columbia system. Ah, uh, we found location of different ones. A major service facility, head to Nephron and Columbia system. We'll do. Columbia. No. I, let me double check again. Uh, I have a short term memory sometimes. Has been conducting illegal genetic research on an effort to create an unstoppable army. You found Kohoku dead in one of their bases, and now you are the only one who can stop them. Nephron Columbia system. Of the Voyager. Oh, we were already there. We we're already here. Guess it makes sense. And gives me a reason to head to Amazon right after this. Yo, bastards. You pissed me off. Survey. Rare element. Huzzah. Oh, no, this is the landable. I'll read that in just a minute before we go there to annihilate them. Medallion recovered. Scans of the planet Gromar. Revealed a derelict, a derelict space station in the late stages of orbital decay. A small team was able to recover some items of interest among them, a League of One medallion. Just gently check the asteroid rings, just in case. While well, you bastards. Nephron is a barren volcanic terrestrial world with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. Its surface is mainly composed of sodium with deposits of magnesium. Aside from displays of geological beauty, including many spectacular volcanoes, volcanoes, this barren world is of little interest. Entries relating to Nephron in the astronomical database are sparse. You know what else is going to be sparse? The life expectancy of Cerberus employees. Anomaly on the ground. First, I'm gonna 
do my surveillance. And I swear that when I took down my main menu, it felt like the mountain wasn't loaded in and the orange sky flashed in my eyes. Oh yeah. It is him, Commander Surveyor. Damn it. Why are all the Surveyor opportunities down in holes? Thorium deposit. Alright, bastards. You killed someone I liked. That means you get to die. I wonder... That would be uh, something interesting. Is if you didn't do this side quest... Would Cerberus exist into future games with their Rachni army and Diddly Husk zombies? I feel like that would be an interesting thing, a possibility, but it feels too big. Maybe there would be a mention that Cerberus tried and failed if you didn't do anything, like a radio broadcast. We continue our story of the underground illegal genetic... Corporation Cerberus. They were unleashed their horribly done clones of the Rachni to try and gain a foothold of power. They failed miserably and all are dead now. Yay. This place is not fun to traverse. I get it. You want to make more than just flat ground and meadows, but I do not like traversing mountains. Kind of annoying. It's entirely possible that there's an around way I could have gone. But screw you. Another Solarian mummified. ID tag recovered. The Cerberus soldier had an identification tag for Captain Varsynth, one of the Solarian soldiers responsible for capturing the League of One. It's unclear how he came into possession of this relic. I forgot to grab my super sniper rifle. I was so hell-bent on avenging Kohaku. But yeah, since we went to an entirely new planet, it feels like they're gonna try and be like, Oh, let us go, Shepard. Let us go. I wonder what their game is. They don't have any, well, at the same time, mummified Solarians. They have a mummified Solarian, so it implies that they that was a Solarian Cerberus soldier. I assume that's what that implies. Ah, you bastards. You're all gonna fucking die. I have half a mind to even... Why you have blocks? Like, even if you guys... Beg for a Paragon Mercy, I might just... Go. Renegade, just to kill you. Really, it depends on how much Paragon I get from it, really. I might just do that. Shoot me through a fucking container! Quit bouncing around. Died. I almost died again. 
You're shooting your own container, idiot. Thank you, Metagel. Thank you, Metagel. For Kohaku! Kohoku. A final save. Before the probably, oh dear god, please don't kill me, Commander Shepard. Be a paragon. Might just fucking go renegade this fucking once, you bastard. Well, intentionally go. Renegade. so much in this place. I mean, it is the end of a quest line. Multiple quest lines, so... Kinda makes sense. And plus, since this also fires faster, might be just nice. Let's see. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at over everything. Oh boy, crossfire is super good. And it has an extra one. Let's see, what do we already have? We already have a kinetic stabilizer. So. More damage. Uh, none of these shotguns match up to me. But the reason I want to have a backlog of these kind of weapons is just in case. I like run into a situation where I want to bring other people along, other allies. Just in case. Again, two. When will I get a new bloody diddly? And yep, I am down to just two upgrade points per. Say, oh yeah, I forgot I need to upgrade everyone else too. And I just did the thing where I saved even though I knew I was gonna have to come back and do a permanent thing. I am a fool. Then I guess dampening. <laughs> Okay. Good. Maybe. Terminal. You cautiously press a few buttons and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself. Quickly, you copy as many files as you can to your hard suit's internal computer. It's memory wiped. The computer shuts down. The files are sure to be encrypted, but you've got time to crack them. Avenging animal cockroach death and removing danger that could have threatened the entire galaxy. Huh, ah, thought there would have been more to that. Also kind of really hate that that's like, oh hey, this is still here. On the map. Wag. But hey, at least I didn't have to choose. Still, why is the icon still there? 
But with that out of the way, we can return to our galaxy jumping. We can just jump to various systems, looking for quests. Looking for opportunities to level up my paragonism. Wonder if we'll be called about Hades. I kind of want to look. Valuable minerals. We still need to find tons of minerals. We found all the Salarian ID tags, but we need four more m metals, five more writings, three more symbols, and three more Prothean artifacts. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. All right, what Greetings, is it? Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. What's your name? Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Program. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Kohoku's dead. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. Facility location. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kohoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. Hmm. But that's treason. These are classified Alliance files. Uh, I'm not thought... handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Yeah, please just Cerberus continue. I want to have the opportunity to do things. Jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. Hmm. Why do you want the what files? What are you going to do with this information? The information is a commodity can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. Hmm. I don't trust you. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Okay, now I'll jump out. See if that gives me any Paragon. If that doesn't give me Paragon, I'll give him the damn information. It gave me Paragon. Yay. I always check. It's just like, did I get any? But, yep, I got Paragon for that. So, screw you, Shadow Broker. I'm not going to give you information on the goddamn Rachne. I'm not going to let you create your own Rachne army. Well, then again, you don't really want to do that. You just want to sell it, which is kind of just as bad in a way. We'll check out the Amazon system. Burn it to the ground, unionize it at least. And uh, then we'll jump around other places. Commander, incoming signal from we just keep more and more. Oh. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. <laughs> That's quite a delay. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. Well, straightforward enough. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. Oh, so it might explode. Tactical fusion warhead, about equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. That's serious, all right. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. 
It's in the Voyager cluster. Shouldn't be over there. It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. Well, we'll handle it. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. The fleet out. Voyager cluster, off we go. I'm going to assume it's in here since they called here, but I'm going to check my thing to see if it's in Amazon or just. Yep, Amazon system. Thank you, game, for pointing it out to us. Survey. Rare element, polonium. Survey. Turian insignia recovered. While scanning the planet Cybin, you discovered a large mine grid in geosynchronous orbit. With help from the navigator Presley, your recon team recovered a small unmanned probe marked with the Quadium Outpost insignia. I wonder what I get for collecting them all. Nitrogen. I don't need gases for my my gather and look over thing place thing quest. Wait, wait, wait. But I thought I saw like a yeah. I, it was just the stars in the background going uh, bokeh. I think they are. That, that's what it's called. Well, let's see. Agbinium is a small terrestrial world with extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton, but though the planet has sufficient mass to maintain a much thicker atmosphere, much of it has been blasted away. The red giant at Amazon is a long-period variable star, currently at the nadir of a 16-year cycle. At peak, its energy output doubles, slashing ag with intense heat and radiation. The crust is mainly composed of aluminium and deposits of tin. Much of the surface is coated with fine silicate dust, which easily penetrates small cracks to foul machinery. So, a nuke-bearing probe is somehow on the opposite side of Alliance space. Either it somehow went on a nice flight or somebody found it. And either way, we don't want to nuke in anybody's hands. Alliance homing beacon will swoop around like that. Watch me swoosh right in! Yeah, I could only imagine what the council would say if they heard about this. You trapped large-scale explosives to probes. Yeah, during a war with an enemy we knew nothing about, and we had no, like, agreements of warfare or anything. We didn't want the enemy to get a grasp of our technology. So we, we figured it was best to make sure that they couldn't. And then if they tried, it would take a huge toll against them. It was an... It was a war that we literally... Wait. Then what's that? If it's not on... I hate the controls for this damn Mako machine. Oh, you flipped around. Even though you're pressing go forward, we are going to actually go backward, which technically is forward, but at the same time, fuck you. Discovery. Brushing away the carbonization on the door of the con contragravity speeder, you see Nezo brand name. Judging by the charring, the wreckage has been here since the star's last variable peak. The corpse is wearing the remains of an expensive suit in what appears to be melted antique aviator goggles. Hmm. That has to be related to some quest. What is this? New Age Amelia Earhart? But there aren't any crabs to eat. Right. 
do see things over there. What? Ah. Another corpse. How did we find this one, but not the one with the wreckage near it? Turian insignia recovered. This body is long away from anything and appears to have been here for quite some time. On the body is a book of drawings, including one of the Siglar outpost insignia. I think that leaves like one insignia left. Yeah, one insignia left. Oh, I got rid of it. Okay. Well, this place is definitely abandoned. They would have put the damn thing under cover. Well, it's a vault of some kind. How can I get in? Be careful, Commander. If you fail this, the bomb will explode, killing us all. I know it's not the actual one, but still. So this has to be part of a greater quest line. Access to this, maybe? What making noise? Repeating noise of doom? But it is very interesting. Well, it looks like it crashed here. If that, and a mining thing, but there's a crater over here. I need to look at. Oh, maybe these people were, uh, whoever these are, were doing excavation of a ruin. The probe landed, maybe. No, it's just a hole. I thought it could have been an impact crater. It looked bigger when we were on the mountain. But why so many goddamn boxes out here? All the wind went away. The signal's coming from a mine? Suspicious. I agree. The probe did not crash. Someone moved it here. Whoever it did it is in danger. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. Affirmative. Either that, or they do know what they have. And they want us to come after them. And they'll sit down so we can explore a bit more, because we're all in just up in this upper corner. Guns at the ready. We don't know what might be down here. With the amount of corpses we found, all in all, not that far away from this place. Let me guess, more tech cultists? Form up. Why are you not obeying my commands? No. Why is the AI so dumb? No, I want this box. On me. Did they fuck up the AI when they were making the Legendary Edition? They look like canisters. Drill things. Is 
This is totally going to be a shootout once we open one of these doors. What the? Okay, that's where we came in. Just want to make sure. Hell's behind door number three. They dragged it deep in here. Ow. <coughs> that was a detonator. Commander. That's shock that scared me. Shepard. At last. Who are you? You have me at a disadvantage. You don't remember me. <laughs> no matter. I remember you. I never forget anyone I fought. If we fought, My I would have killed you. My name is Helliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus Clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe. An acclaimed leader. In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. You attacked Elysium. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised. Interesting glory that and the actual backstory things actually affect the quest. The then again, the this probably would have happened anyway, failed, but with failed, different words. Failed because of you. Your damnable holding action. Call the Normandy. My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. <laughs> Can't we? Can't we negotiate? It doesn't have to be like this, Halliot. Empty words from a dead man. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? No one panic. We've got air and light, and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. If there's no time to get out, you have to disable the bomb before it goes off. Override harpoint using a hundred. I'll just do it manually. Lol. But I disabled it. Ah, yes. My favorite. Disabling it did nothing. I sure do like when the game decides, oh yeah, actually, you did the thing, but we're gonna say you didn't. Disable it before it goes off. I disable it. Actually, there might be more. Well, then have there be more, you dumbass. Whoever designed this section. I hope you get locked in with a real nuke. For daring to program poorly. That's just dumb. Ten seconds. I do the thing. Oh, sorry. It's gonna go off anyway. Why? I disabled the goddamn thing. <coughs> you caused the cave-in? What's My the meaning? Who do you think runs the Terminus Clan? Most that three years ago, I you're the one failed because of you. <gasps> oh, and if you have goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now? Panic. Shepherd? We've got air and light. Gonna go ahead and make a save because the game's a dick, apparently. Manually disable hardpoint. Fuck off. I said, fuck off, I pressed multiple times. Yeah, fuck you whoever made this section. This is dumb as fuck. Oh, there's multiple. Why? Why are there multiple? It's... There has literally never been one that's multiple sections, and this is just a normal thing. You want it to be, have three separate bomb things, or like make it more obvious. No, this is just the normal bloody 
probe icon. Or, like, probe model. You can't just reuse a model, and it's like, oh, actually, you know, all the probes like this that have only one thing to do. This one has, like, four. Make a new model, or fuck off. That is my stance. Because if you're going to diddly d d d d d d something like that, you have to tell the player. Oh boy, upgrade kit. Maybe we can upgrade the intelligence of the people who made that section. Oh, guess that makes sense. But it's on the other side. Oh, wait. Mercenary camp. Elliot went through a lot of trouble to draw you here. A pity it ended like this, for him at least. Now you're above ground, your suit radio has reestablished his connection with the Normandy. Time to get the hell out of here. And I didn't get any... What is it called? Uh, renegade points, because I killed them. They were going to shoot me anyway. Suck it, Halliot. Also, another thing that annoys me is despite the fact that they're like, Ah, oh, nuke! Ah, oh, nuke! Ah, oh, nuke! They went through all the trouble of being like, Ah, oh, nuke! Ah, oh, nuke! Ah, oh, nuke! And then if you don't do it in time, you know, do the four point, one point, bloody probe, it doesn't even explode. You just kill over dead. Oh, I didn't know that they made poison nukes. annoyed by that section because like it's like every other probe in the game every single one and every single probe only had one diddly point to do so why change it well, like more of the real question is why not change it make a new model Give it a different paint job at least. That way I was like, oh yes, there was at least some effort that went into this to let me know, hey, dumbass, this is different than your normal probe. On the one hand, sure, maybe my fault for not looking at the ticking clock and thinking, hmm, maybe I didn't do them all. But at the same time, a part of me thought that maybe, just maybe, the clock stays there no matter what, because I've had a few games do that. You do a thing, but the timer still goes until it gets to zero, and then nothing happens. Probably for, like, the villain to go, What? Why? Not happen? Why? Eh. And again, I've just been trained to only go, Oh, one point, because it's one point pro boy. Very frustrating. Damn you. Damn you. Skin, I hate the controls of the Mako sometimes. I don't know what game it, what games it were that made me go, oh, this way of controlling car make go backwards better. But then the Mako is just like, oh no, fuck you. That's not here to do
yay, I think I might be soft locked a little bit. Because I can get out by pressing F, but I don't want to. I want to explore the rest of the goddamn place. Make it easy to flip the goddamn thing if you're gonna have it be this way, you dumbass developers. We're gonna make annoying mandatory sections. And then if you get annoyed by it, you're the problem. Oh, we don't even call in? Oh, let's... Is that it? If we, I figured we would have called in. Apparently not. We don't call in. Weird. Okay, no. Well, fly away. We should be done with this cluster, at least for now. And now we'll do the thing. Just diddly... Go to all the ones that don't have a point except for local and citadel. Double check things, because I think uh, maybe I'll recognize a few that I've already been to. And at the very least, we just land. I press map, look, and see if I've already surveyed things. Century. I feel like we've already gone here. Wait, another way to tell if we've already been somewhere is if I don't have any survey planets. Well, that doesn't really count. I think some places haven't had... Kepler Verge. Yeah, I think uh, we already did some there. Armstrong, Message we haven't come here yet. Brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Arcturus Minsk? Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong cluster. We need someone to take them out. No problem, boy. Any more information than that? We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. Or worse, it could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. And I'll do it. Finding Saren is still your top priority. But you've got experience fighting to get. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Well, the looks of it, it'll just be all. Unless there are multiple planets I can land on in each place, which I doubt. No survey. Survey time. Light metal discovered cobalt. Matriarch's writings scans revealed a wrecked freighter orbiting one of Junthar's smaller moons. A recon team found no signs of life, but they did recover one of Matriarch Delinica's writings. And that's the landing planet. Yep, only two surveys. Let's go! I find it funny that we don't even... Like, we have to land to pick up the Mako, don't we? So why do we just drop it out of orbit? Anomaly. Over on Research Outpost. Debris. I'll go around the mountain. Just because. Look for surveyables. I keep forgetting to get my super sniper rifle from the requisition officer because I have the money for it. What'll this be, Amelia Earhart 2? A worm fight? Uh, scavenger corpses. Discovery. The burnt corpse is evidently a mom and pop independent salvage team. Show signs of close range hits from geth heavy weapon particles.
Why is there no good backup mechanics? Did nobody... It's just like, oh yeah, just program buttons to go forward, but also dependent on mouse position. I just, I hate the Mako movement sometimes. When it works and you're going at a decent clip, fine. But if you want to, like, make a certain kind of turn, or want to go backwards, you are fucked. Scavengers who made this cap are gone. They seem to have abandoned it abruptly some time ago. Nice environmental storytelling, I suppose. Oh boy, surveyor time. Always nice to have nice surveyor moments. Always nice to have nice, because it's nice. We. I shall lead you in the art of surveillance. Rare element, pol polonium. Got paid 20,000 credits for that. Nice. Spider Jeep, Spider Jeep. Medallion recovered! The down pod contained a leak of one medallion. Its owner is nowhere to be found. How many more medallions do I need? I'm slowly getting up there. Wait, is that all? Oh wait, no, probably... Yeah, leak of medallion, so we need three more. Insignias, medallions, all these things just slowly gathering up all these collectibles. And a part of me feels like we should probably head back to the Citadel to check things out, just in case. Because you never know, another interview, Emily Wong, so many things could go, be done. We're coming, Gappy boys. There, that'll lead me to it in case I forget. Oh, that's a lot of goddamn spikes. Surprise, Geth. It me. I don't know why they 
spiked them outside, and then brought the husks inside. That's kind of silly, Geth. That's kind of silly. Tungsten rounds. Don't know how we get that from a malfunctioning object. Jammed. What's jamming us? Are we gonna get invaded by a bunch of husks? Ooh, armors and a sniper rifle. So yeah, from the looks of it, that jam was just there to stop. And we are, we're already above. Alright, we we have to start getting rid of everything below level 5. Unless it's like armors and omni tools. Okay, I just fucking began exploding in money. Apparently. Better shields for slightly less damage protection. And I get, let's see, damage protection, or more shields. There we go. I should probably sell some of this stuff when we get back. But yay, new armor. Always nice to get new armor. Oh, just Geth Gap. an ability that causes jamming. So apparently the Geth didn't like me uh, shooting up their new toys. Aggravating that Geth can just drop from orbit like that. Drop pods? Nah, they are the drop pods. Do a barrel roll. And yet sometimes if you just lightly dip the nose into the ground while you're driving, it'll damage it. Do that, nothing. Mad. 
Damn you. Still find it weird that it slams you back down to the last place you were. Or like, not the last place you were, but the, the starting position. Like, it just feels like Considering how fast that minigame goes, the failure state of the minigame should also aid in the being of fast. And having to re-maneuver to a good position takes some time depending on the layout of the orange blocks. Joe, just give me. And I think I'm just going to. Wrong button. Leave. And just in case, I'm going to go talk to everybody. Maybe even talk to Joker again. Because it's been a bit since we've chatted with him. Again, I walk slowly towards you. Anything you need, Commander? Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where I've wasted the enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll talk another Commander. time. Alright. And let's head down, talk to Rex and Garrus. See what they have to say. Oh, and I forget. Looking for supplies? You bet, Commander. Ha. Huh. But still. First off, sniper rifle. Beautiful baby sniper rifle. Give. And then you know what? Since we have it, give me that assault rifle too. Major damage will be done today. Hell yeah. Now this. This is great. <laughs> Garrus. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Before, Garrus. I think we've been through this. For everything. Taking me with you. I've thought a lot about you, and I, I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become... Well, I'm... Hello? If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust I'm them, glad you don't see worry, it, Commander. I will. And I'll go ahead and talk to Tally since I think we haven't had a advancement with her in a bit. Hey Shepard, do you need something? Nope. I should go. See you later. Kind of weird that Garrus defaults to Commander. I want to thank you over and over again. The full conversation path. Maybe it's because we haven't gone through the story missions yet, so we haven't kicked off Tally's. Quest line yet. I wonder if Saren is gonna be like a constant thing. Or if we take Saren down and then more story and stuff goes on. Not yet. But this system is secure. Let's move on to Tereskova. Surveillance and Geth Annihilation. And none of these want to be surveyed. I'm annoyed. Heavy metal. Heavy metal. Just double make 
sure, and let's head to uh, the surface below. I forgot to read. I keep forgetting to read these planets sometimes. Well, considering most of the time it's just, this planet is made of this. It's not that interesting. Sometimes they actually have funny ahas to them. Like the Batarians tricking us into going to a planet thinking it's valuable. Dip it up. Luckily, I don't think surveying is, Im uh, like, I don't think it's important to survey things. It's just money and experience. Everything else, though, it seems like it is... their decision to make it impossible to fight while healing. Damn you, game. Yeah, this is a fucky system. Why couldn't they just steal GTA, GTA's uh, flip the car over system? Works for them. And again, this was 2007, so maybe the technology just wasn't there for, hey, game, right this vehicle. Discovery. The vehicle and human courses show the telltale signs of Geth weapon fire. The Geth have been mang uh, the Geth has been mangled by the Thresher Maw. At least they got what was coming to him. And I keep forgetting that that's not how you turn around with this goddamn vehicle. Let's recover this ruin. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be data disc. Yep, data disc. Searching the roads, you discover protein data disc. It must have been dropped by one of the Thresher Maw's many victims. How many? Five more. Well, not five more. We have five. So, two more. I do find it funny that the repair thing doesn't tell you how much Omni Gel you have if you have over a hundred. But when it comes to like the disable the nuke instant Omni Gel option, it was a hundred. I just find that kind of funny. This part of the game, a hun over a hundred's bad. That part of the game. Well, we want you to play this mini game. <laughs> Shoot the sand. Shoot the sand. Well, it's not sand. It's it's snow, but it might just be retextured sand to look white. Probably because we're nearing the outpost, I assume.
Damn you! That's not my fault. The game double tapped my fucking up key against my will. We're gonna have them all go different moves. To hurt your soul. And then make it incredibly hard to fucking do. Oh, you want to do keyboard? Well, sometimes the controls are sensitive. You want to do mouse? Well, it's fucking ass like that. We're an open world RPG. We need to have mini games. If we don't, well, we're as good as monsters. We don't deserve to live if we can't make mini games. That will just annoy people. outpost and it's obvious the ship came from somewhere it's kind of silly ah yes a bunch of guests standing around in the snow such outpost not to mention they put it in a fucking canyon peek over the edge throw a bomb Scream at them, insult their mother. It could be a staging ground for an invasion. Ah, yes. A small bunker with five rooms, an outpost that is just standing around in the snow, no, no roofs. Such staging grounds. Looking to see if there are any surveyables. Have we run into any surveyables? No. I'm just gonna assume there aren't any surveyables on this planet. Because that's happened a few times. Oh, hey, squad level up. Let's see. Fitness. Didn't I already get. Yeah, immunity specialization. So it just like increases immunity. But I definitely want to level up immunity more. Oh, but because I don't have any of my allies with me, I can't level them up. Ah. Uh -huh. I am a fool. Next we head to Hong. Why just Hong? No, surveillance. Survey! Matriarch's writings recovered. Scans of Matar revealed debris from a destroyed Asari freighter. Further scans uncovered a body which was brought on board. Dr. Chakwas examined it, but learned nothing about its origins. Among the Asari's personal effects, however, was one of the Matriarch Delinica's writings. And that's the landing planet. Light metal discovered. Lithium! Nobody tell Elon Musk. He might rape the entire planet to death for it. Kasbin is a classic pre-garden terrestrial world with conditions similar to those of Earth's millions of years ago. Its hot, humid atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. An increasing amount of the surface is covered by simple lichen and algae. 
Should not, uh, should no expect, should no unexpected calamity occur, these tiny plants will change the atmosphere to an Earth-like nitrogen-oxygen mix over the next few millennia. Due to its potential for future habitation uh, and sapient life, Caspin has been designated a sanctuary world by the Citadel Council. Landing is prohibited by law, and any disturbance of the fragile young ecosystem will result in harsh fines and imprisonment. At present, the planet is passing through the debris trail of a long-period comet. Well, we have to land, because the, the geth are mean. The geth are assholes. I'm going to assume that there's going to be no surveying on this planet, because... Oh yeah, that, that looks like lichen and algae. Totally. We'll loop, -de loop around and wham. We'll try to keep the damage, like, minimal. But there's only so much we can do if the... Eh, I just like the look of this place. Mountainous, but with some plains between the mountains. For some reason, I get a Transformers Beast Wars vibe from this place. down, because it's probably not down down. Worst comes to worst, we can go down after we go around. A survey? That's... Yeah, what's with this beacon? Okay, recover artifact. ID tag recovered. Buried under the beacon was an identifica identification, identification tag for Captain Theon. There's no indication of why it was hidden here or who buried it in the first place. That's odd. Somebody came here with a survey beacon and placed an identifica identification tag underneath the survey beacon on a planet that you're not supposed to come to. Why even make fucking cauldrons on a map we're meant to explore? L fucking Mako level designer, why? Fuck off. Did you let the fucking intern play around in ZBrush? And be like, oh, that'll be perfect for the fucking geometry of the map. I just want to get the fuck out of here. Because there's no excuse for that. No excuse to make this just a pain in the ass to go around. Sure, it should be, like, kind of interesting. But why so many sheer cliffs? Why? So many goddamn sheer cliffs that don't mean anything. things when I get back to them actually you know what I'll deal with it off screen I'll try and cut down a super lot of my inventory off screen so that shouldn't happen again for a while again why so many mountainous near sheer cliffs just let me explore a world.
arm. The Geth Array is transmitting regular data bursts on an encrypted channel using the Alliance's own FTL comm buoys. It's not clear where the data is being directed, nor the content of the data. So that should be a... And then off we go to the actual place. I'm honestly surprised that wasn't the outpost, really. Just a bunch of Geths standing around. Oh, I thought that was a thing. You know, it's just a dead geth. There'd be gold in these hills. You'd think that they wouldn't want us surveying this planet. That's kind of hilarious, Earth. We're going to have you as a specter go to this planet and illegally, because you're a specter and you can do that, and survey us some gold. Yeah, gold was in these heels. This gold will be called Shepherd's Gold. We know that we're in the right area. Would make it annoying if you were trying to just survey. On invasion planet. See if I can try and destroy it. a Geth dropship. Yay. I didn't realize the health bar last time, if that one even did have a health bar. Doesn't help that the health bar appears where the timer for the nuke was, like where bomb timers go. You need to disable all these bombs, that timer. Instead of, you know, around the fucking thing we're shooting at. That's the landing planet. Survey! Turin insignia recovered. While scanning the planet Pregol, you discovered several marker buoys orbiting it. Chief Engineer Adams secured some high-res optical images of the buoys, which appeared to have been neglected for some time. Each one is marked with the uh, Beatec Beatica colony insignia. I'll go ahead and jump out so we can reap the rewards of that. All in all, not that many. But hey, we did one collectible all the way through. Nice to at least just do that. But now... Maji orbits the Vam Vamshi binary giant stars. Vamshi A is a blue star of spectral class A4111, which burns at half, a, uh, at half again the temperature of Sol. Vamshi B is aging red giant of class M5111, over 220 times the size of Sol. 
Maji is a, has a thin atmosphere of methane and carbon monoxide. The difference in temperature between the hemisphere facing the suns and the facing deep space causes constant wind, stirring the silica and sodium dust on the surface. Unsavory characters from the Terminus systems occasionally use Maji for forms of cruel sport, dumping slaves, hostages, quarreling shipmates, or even when bored various animals on the vicious animals on the surface. One must kill the other before they will be rescued from the lethal radiation of the giant stars. Yeesh. Bastard. We'll loop de loop around. And I think I know what I'll do. After we complete this, I'll just jump to various, like, systems and stars and just gather up all the call in things a bit. While also surveying all the planets that we can. And then I think we'll stop by the Citadel, see if there's anything there. And I think we'll end it there, maybe, depending how long it takes. Or depending if my headache, which is slowly growing for whatever reason, grows too bad. Whichever occurs first. Just lead the way. I will lead you on to hell. At least the colors of the planets are nice, even if the geometry is hell. You'd think if there was so much wind, it would have eroded away the mountains eventually. Turian insignia recovered. This strange-looking sensor has some ancient graffiti scribbled on it. It appears to be the mark of the Edison colony insignia. So I guess we can still find some insignias despite having found all the insignias. At least for that quest. I suppose it's less find all the insignias and find enough insignias for this. Much in the same way how there's a more gas... Like, a uh, Yeah. Available gas on planets to survey... Discovery. The, this massive skull is scored by deflected mass accelerator shots. The xenobiology files in your heart's computer can't identify the species. It must have been brought from an unknown world. And that's it? Maybe that's related to a quest, or... I guess it could just be flavor text. It's possible. It's always possible. Yes, 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 I have lots of shit. Maybe I would actually take care of it more efficiently if I could select multiple things to get rid of at a time. You allow me to have hundreds of items? Let me manage my hundreds of items. I wonder if they fix that in later games. That's like the one thing that's constantly on my mind, wondering... I wonder how they handle this in later games. Mass Effect 2, 3, Andromeda. I'm getting so much money. I, I literally made back all the money I spent buying my super assault rifle and super sniper. 
I wonder if they're unique or if I can hand them out to my allies by buying the, uh, if they re like refresh in stock. It would be hilarious if I can buy a lot of them. And more surveillance to come. It's always interesting when some survey opportunities literally just appear before me or super easy to get. Others, like, it feels like there aren't any at all, which is entirely possible. I've killed more Geth than any Geth hunter in the world. Quit spamming guns. It's my job. Geth Colossus. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. Hmm. It must be a message from the primary Geth base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and take them out. Yes. What? Why did we get out? Why did it force me out? Did they really think that I would be honorable? You gave me a tank with a gun. I'm not going to just face an army. When I have a tank, find and destroy the main Geth operations in the Grissom system of the Armstrong. Okay, Grissom system. Hopefully we're not in the Grissom system. I don't think we are. And so far I love my Garrus. Oh, yeah, you're new. I like my Garrus tally team. Survey! Light metal. Survey! Medallion! Scans of Binda uncovered an ancient Solarian vessel. A small team was dispatched to search for valuables. The only item of value recovered was a League of One medallion. I'm gonna quickly scan the... Aha! Rare element. Polonium. I doubt we'll get more than one. Hell, it's pretty rare to get, like, one anyway. The moon is where we're going. Heat hazard. But we're gonna see, can we scan? Oh, I wish we could scan. But to the moon, let's read. Warning, level one heat hazard. Sulcrum is the largest moon of the gas giant Notaban. 
It has a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The crust is composed of various metals with component deposits of sodium. As with every body of the solar system, the surface is scorching hot and thoroughly irradiated by the blue giant grissom. Surface excursions without proper protective gear are certain to prove fatal. On approach to Notaban, Norvindy's passive sensor array intercepted a fragmentary code transmission from the surface of Sulcrum. Attempts to decrypt the message were fruitless. It does not appear to have been any software coding language used by the Citadel races. Let's go murder some bastards! With my normal team. Loop around. But I've been thinking, considering that this is a your choices matter and you have a bunch of companions, I'm wondering if there's gonna be like uh, risks. Because I know in some games, like even the online game uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, your uh, companions can leave you under the right circumstances. Granted, this game doesn't have uh, morality-based recruitment, unlike some of the other morality system Your Choices Matter RPGs I've seen. At least so far that I know in this game. But I wonder if there are, like, uh, things where if you cross a line... Your char one character might leave you. Like if you're too Paragon or or too Renegade, they might leave you. Recover artifact. Probably more writings. Matriarch's writings recovered. There were several artifacts stored here, all worthless, except for one Matriarch Delinica's writings. Whether it was uncovered at the stick site or elsewhere is unclear. How many matriarch writings do we require now? Two more. But yeah, when it comes to your choices matter, morality-based RPGs, like, there has to be a point where some of your companions are put in danger. What I definitely should do, now that I've thought about that, is save before I go down on a planet to begin a mission. So if I really don't want, like, if I come across something that really needs a heavy reset, I can do it. I know, I know I probably shouldn't, but at the same time it depends on how I'm feeling about it. Hilariously, if it's a major enough happenstance, I may very well accept the consequences of my actions. You lead, I'll follow. It all deopens. Damn it. Yes, yes, yes. That's 300 item limit. Fine, I'll do another bibbity bop. From the looks of it, let's get rid of the fives now. I wish. I could just select a box that says, yes, I understand that if I turn off the confirmation box, I might just annihilate something that's unique or I love, but dear God, there is, it takes so long. Like, even if you get good at it, it takes like a, about a second-ish to do each confirmation and it hurts my soul to do it each and every time. There's probably a faster way to do it, but the game ain't telling me. I have so many, so much ov omni chill. Beyond just, oh wait, I, I almost went too far. And now I'll annihilate 
Like, even though I kind of don't want to. These are taking up a decent amount of my stuff. And I don't use a lot of them anyway. Can I turn the empty into Omni Gel? And I just realized I have so much money now. I think I have over a million credits. All right, there. I annihilated a shit ton of my stuff. I hope you're happy. Oh yeah, I forgot. We haven't leveled you guys up yet. And save, so I don't have to go through all of that again in case something happens. And now off we go to annihilate the foe. It's got to be the main base. So we're going to run in... Ooh, this might be an actual opportunity to use my new sniper rifle and assault rifle. mountain in my way. Why? Why must there be a mountain in my way? Tony Hawk Pro Skater Mako. Now imagining the sight of Tony Hawk in a Mass Effect game amuses me. He would definitely be a renegade. Level up, my people. Gonna go ahead and save since we're down here now. And man, we're getting lots of experience for killing those things, which is cool. Well, something. <laughs> Well, they have a voice. That's interesting to know. As the last gift falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of worlds and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the geth worlds behind the Perseus veil. The transmitter shuts down. What? Was the Geth transmitting music to itself? That implies that the Geth are... Well, then I guess it, the Geth are more than just machine. We know that already. We have tons of things and even more are probably going to be turned into things. 
You discover a number of encrypted Geth data files. In the proper hands, they could reveal much about the evolution of the Geth since the banishment of the Quarians. I'm right here. Well, we might have to give that to Tally. I feel like we're going to be called by the Shadow Broker again. Hey, you have data files on thing. And again, it seems like the interesting option would be to hand them over and to earn favor with the Shadow Broker. But that's not Paragon, apparently. And I can't do that. I'm playing a Paragon role. When you gamify morality, this is what happens. But again, music, an acapella song, calling out for innocence and worlds lost. Being transmitted behind the veil. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. Damn right. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong Cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Tally about this information. Surely it'll be helpful for her. Bringing back a veritable bounty of Geth data would probably be good, especially because we don't think that the this bound uh, group of Geth were allied with Saren. So they're nice. Hopefully, we'll be able to talk. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Of course. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. I understand. You want to bring this data back to the Migrant Fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our effort to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. By wiping the Geth out. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years, but it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go right ahead, Go Tally. Ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. Good. I never wanted anything more. That's Thank all we can ask of you. Only one Paragon point for that? Only one bloody Paragon point for that? But hey, at least we helped Tally. I wonder if that means that I could have done something else, like I could have had like more information, or maybe said a different thing, and gotten more Paragon out of that interaction. Then again, it was just a conversation, on top of doing an already, already diddly dee. I forgot, I didn't talk to the requisition officer. Let's head to the Voyager cluster and take a glance around. Oh no, we already did. We already did all these. And then I think we already went through all of Argos Row, of which there was Phoenix and Hydra for the two missions that were there. Gemini Sigma, yeah, Han and Ming, we already went through there. Hades Gamma. This system, Antaeus? Did we... Let's jump here just to make sure. I should have been keeping notes of which systems I've been to. Checking them off. Treban.
That room, that sounds familiar. Shrepin sounds familiar, so we've probably already been here. I read, I from this, just hovering over it made me think it said Phobos, and it was just like, when did Metroid get in here? Oh, yep, we definitely already been here. Or maybe... Who owns this again? No, I don't think we've been here. Have we? Seems like we've already scanned these. But it says it's making a hard burn for the asteroid. And I don't, I don't remember. I wish there was like a, an index I could type into and be like, hey, have we already been here? Private owner Citadel Station. Well, let's take a look. Because I don't remember a ship that was taking a hard burn towards a asteroid field. Wait. No, I don't remember. Not immediately. Maybe this is the crazy person with the brain dead? Yeah, this is looking like the brain dead. Oh, no! It was this one! With the biotics, who were after the, uh... Yeah, the chairman. Are you still here? Did we check out the other places? Funny how they're still here. That amuses me. Yeah, this was like one of the first missions I did. So, it makes sense that I wouldn't remember it. I was like, huh, the crazy lady? Who was like, oh, but I'm not gonna take my medicine. I can't believe he's brain dead. No, I'll kill everyone else first. And then, like, uh, the doctor, Dr. Hart. Disk system, Antaeus. I think we've been here. Well, let's take a look anyway. If we've already surveyed the planets here, it'll say, probably. I really should have been keeping track of what planets, or uh, what systems I've been to. Really should have. Asgard, Utopia, yeah, we've already been here. That leaves the Attican Beta and Hor um, maybe Horset Nebula? No, because I think we've been Fortuna, Strenuous, so that's... Yep, all that's left is Pax, so let's go to everywhere that isn't Ferris. Which is just Hercules. Then we'll head to the Citadel, make sure there's nothing there, before uh, going on with maybe a main mission. I didn't mean to. I thought it said survey. Uh. Wish I could just say, hey, I want to abort this landing. Because even if we can land, well, at the same time, maybe this will tell me we land. I look and see if I've already surveyed anything. Green grass. So maybe we have. Yep, we've already been here. Monkey colony. So yeah, I think I've been to the majority of the little systems that I can go to currently. More might pop up over time. And it's possible that I might have missed some in my just... But anyway, let's head back to the Citadel. Widow. Oh yeah, that's...
Okta. That's what it's called. It's in the widow. So under the around the star widow, maybe. This is like widow. Is that like a transmission of thing? No, idiot. We're gonna land. We're gonna look and see if there's anything new going on in the citadel. And then we'll do like one main mission. Save and head. Well, I guess I'll talk to. Let's see, you have anything yes, else Commander? to say? Nope. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. I'll see if Joker has anything to say. We haven't done any main missions, so he probably doesn't have anything new to say. Viewport. Look outside. Codex. Commander. Something you need? No, I don't think so. I have to go. All right. See you. So let's see, any deranged interviews? Emily Wong? Maybe. Equalizing interior pressure with our, exterior atmosphere. Our fan. Logged. The commanding officer He's is better ashore. than the adoring Exo fan Presley from has the deck. Oblivion at the very least. It would have been funny Alliance if the officials report that a Geth Ooh. incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. Thanks to me. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Huzzah. Doesn't seem that there's anybody here waiting to ambush me that's good take a look and see anything new requisition boy hello commander show me what I'll you open the rare stocks for you. unique <laughs> reaper 3 shotgun oh no already a better snipe well no because it does mildly more damage, but is like a third of the shot capacity. What do you take me for, an idiot? I'll go ahead and buy one of those. And maybe this for Tally. You know what? Yeah, we're going to give Tally a Christmas present. All right, Garrus. You can have this here newfangled super gun. It'll give you weapon stability. Meanwhile, you can have this here newfangled super shotgun. I'll give you. Yeah, here have a combat scanner, I guess. I guess while we're here, we can get rid of some of these, or maybe I can just sell them. I'll sell, Hello, Commander. I'll sell stuff to you. Show me what you. I'll need. open the rare stocks. Sell. Wonder what sell all junk is. Might as well. I'm not gonna miss anything. Just a bunch of ones that I don't care about. Except for the Omni Tools, the Amps, I'll keep those. Armor upgrades, I'll keep. Get rid of all the threes. Except for armor. I'll we'll keep the Krogan because we don't have much in terms of Krogan. 
with a human. Oh, I think that's good for now. I'll take a glance around CSEC just to make sure there's nothing new. We'll jump to the uh, Citadel Tower before we go and check out the wards. And after checking out the wards, we'll then walk around Good the to see you, Because there's so much to walk around and do. Well, apparently she hasn't run the store yet because they haven't hired more people. Again, like three dudes and a keeper with a nine-room max. You need to work on your cardio, Mr. Shepard. Just like I should. Please choose location. Take me to the tower, because that's where most in interesting things might be. And it doesn't look like there's interesting things. Sadness. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. More than likely, the only things that happen on the Citadel happen after main mission, uh, missions. Except for ones that are like, oh, you did this mission, and then enough time passes by. Certain things are hit. Head me to the wards. Med clinic. We, we, I guess we technically found out about Banes, but not really. Are all Banes is... Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for of sale. Course. Let's see. Maybe I should buy that. Give it to someone. 50% toxin and reduction in power cooldown. This one is much cheaper. And has better toxin and everything. I guess I'll grab that just because. I'll grab that as well. And then I think I'll grab this lesser one. Kinetic buffer. I get the most, because I'm the one that's always being toxined and staying toxined. That one. Oh. And then. I did put mine in, right? Yeah. I guess I had an extra. Either that or the menu is weird. Good, good. Armor mods in place. Let us take a look and see if our adoring fan is here or not. I guess first we'll check out Flux. I doubt anything will happen there. But might as well look and see anything happening in Flux. Then go look around the shops. And then maybe the alleyway. And then check out Cho's... Whatever it is. Nope. Nothing new. Understandable. At the same time, I'm just looking for things, just in case. I'm always paranoid on missing out on things. Still think that looks like... They're coming after him. <gasps> My boy! The boy is here! I'll save before we talk to him, because we want to treat... 
Conrad the best. He's our greatest fan. I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. Hmm. Go ahead. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Hmm. I'm afraid not. Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great <laughs> specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the council what humanity is capable of. He's got spirit, but not guts. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. There are other fights. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. I need people at home. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. <laughs> I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. And you can. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. We stopped him from killing himself. That is always a good thing. We're getting up there in Paragon, at least. And we're almost at max level, and we haven't even... D We've done one story mission. We've done one story mission, and we're already... Near the... <laughs> I think we did the majority of... The side missions at this rate if we're level 22. I just hope that I don't get screwed on my Paragon points. Hey Harkin, how you doing? Go away. Let me go away. Can't even drink at the flux. He's probably been banned. Well, I guess we'll have walk around the embassies. Maybe talk to Baron Guy and be like, hey, I might have pissed off the Shadow Broker. But I mean, if it is just business, buying and selling information. Maybe he should have offered us something for it. Because he really didn't. He didn't even say what he was offering. I don't think you'd have anything new to say. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Thank you for all your help, Shepard. Uh, looks like that's it. At least for this area. We can't say hello to... Consort. But I should still look around just in case. Like if we run into another one of the families bickering, and we can set them straight. Because like the potential of this kind of thing, where you have these long hours upon hours long RPGs. And then you can take the decisions made in one and carry them over to another and then another. It's very interesting. It has a lot of potential. And I mean, people continue to talk about Mass Effect in a positive light. With the only exception being like Mass Effect 3. And that's mostly because of the ending Tron 9000 at the end. But I think they may have modified that a bit. Added some endings maybe? I forget. Hello, Imperium shop peeker. Commander. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. And again, I don't have that much in the way of money right now. I spent it all. Wait, I should have looked up uh, for potential upgrades. Commander. Show me your items. Like, uh, oh, this exclusive thingies at the bottom. Yes. Hi, I hope your boss doesn't hate me. Greetings. How can this humble servant be of use to you? Tell me more about this. Most of the, yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. I should go. Goodbye, But still, Commander. I personally think that, hey, we're able to make more Rachni. 
would upset the balance of power, personally. Oh, you know, it's just a species that had the entire galactic... Ca like, the entirety of the uh, galactic community togetherness on the run until the Krogans arrived. Granted, then the Krogans became the next Arachne to a bit because it's like, ah, oh, wait, just remembered. I didn't actually go all the way through the embassies. I didn't go and check in on our ambassador and the captain, even though I think the captain will just be like the same dialogue options. The same dialogue options as when we last saw him at the Normandy. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau cluster. The this isn't a game, Ambassador. Oh, was that new? That might have been new. Yes, Commander. Kohaku. Where can I find Admiral? Last Kohaku? I heard, is there they didn't even else, update that. I'll be here if you need. Why didn't they update that? That would have been such a cool detail, where you can talk about Kohaku to him and be like, "It is a shame that he died, but at least he exposed those cer cerebrous bastards, and you brought them down." That would have been a nice, th a cool thing. But I was like, you can find him at the Citadel Tower. No, I can't, because he's dead. My boy is dead. But with all that out of the way, I'll quickly check my journal. Because I think... Yep, it's just minerals and... Signs of battle and Asari writings and Prothean discs that I might have missed, but could just be in places that... Aren't Presidium accessible technicians yet. are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded. There's the recently. AI again. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally. I mean, if you are gonna hide a an AI, one place to do it would be in a place with a bunch of technology that they don't know exactly what it does. Because I mean, they have the keepers for a reason. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I don't think we would need decontamination for the Citadel all that much. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Well, with all that out of the way, I guess we can go ahead and run on to one main mission at the very least. Let us go to Ferus. Ferus, travel to the system. I'll have to make doubly sure to converse with the team after we do a main mission. Surely stuff will be added to talk about. I wonder if there are anybody that man the Mass Effect re relays. Prothean data disk recovered. The planet Sharing displayed some strange readings while being scanned. Chief Engineer Adams pinpointed the source and located a strange object. Tally and Adams brought it on board and spent hours taking it apart. The purpose of the object is still uncertain, but it was Prothean in nature and contained a Prothean data disk. Survey, light metal, cobalt. I think that might have met our quota for that kind of metal. The Exogeni Corporation has founded a pilot colony on Pharos to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket two-thirds of the planet's landmass. The atmosphere is fouled with dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumpled debris dozens of meters deep. There are indi indications that Pharos was a much colder world in the past. Pharos has two large moons, Orkin, the Farther, and Vardat. Colony founded with a population of only 300. Let's head aboard. Cutscene time. Are 
Are these floating structures or were they just... I don't think I trust them with my goddamn ship. Okay, one thing that I would like in this game is if there was a menu I could check to see if crew members had new conversations available. That is one thing that I would adore. My go-to team. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Gonna go ahead and save, because that creeps me out. Only person seeable standing kind of far down a hallway. Hello. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who? Who's Fidan? Who's that? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Oh. LOL! The horror and hilarity of that. That was both horrible and hilarious. And we got a shit ton of money for that, probably because of our level. Yay, more of them. We've already dealed with these guys, but I guess they have introductory cutscenes for each world, just in case. making another push. Damn right about that. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. Those get the bloody dangerous. Die of thirst. The get will surely kill us all. If we don't die of thirst. How is a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? I think I've heard your voice before. Ledra. I fear the get will kill us all. A lot of people with names. Every single time I, like, begin to, like, open a new thing, get more items, I'm gonna be, like, tensing for it to be like, huh. Alright, I'll check out Zeus Hope, wander around, and then head to Fadan. The Geth are mounting another attack. Mounting? We were in the middle of one. Getting better. I just have to stop thinking about the past. The Geth just came. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're you're not ready to speak. But they should know. Uh I mean, they are very important. Huh. Yes. That's better. What's wrong? Is there anything I can do for you? I'm Fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... Did from you absorb some attack. profane information too? I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. Every single time I get more Paragon, I'm just like, was that enough? Can I have more charm? Oh, Commander. Oh, damn it, I wanted to explore more. I'm glad more. they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Good 
job with the toxic. Wah, 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 wah. Talk to him. Protect the heart of the colony. You'd think they would just drop in if they wanted to. Wonder if there's anything keeping them from doing that. The guests can't be allowed into the This work must be completed. I don't really think there's... Then again, it did say population 300. I wonder how much of that population is still around. Well, if you wanted to, you could come here for cover. left to proper channel. I wonder if the Geth are annoyed by us. How we continue to annihilate them. A small team of three at a time, destroying everything they have. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. Happy to help. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Don't you worry. Help me find what the Geth are after, and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. Where is... well, let's see. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. Well, more like funded. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. We're prepared. I didn't expect this would be easy. We will fight the Geth. this colony operational again. Hmm. Geth What base. can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. Hmm. Operation. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Right, water shortage. Is there anything I can do to solve Marka that water? Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, power. please speak. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it food. than... Food. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Geth in the tunnels. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnels somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zoo's Hope and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Hmm, the colony. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. 
Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How many people live here? How big here? was the original Pharaoh's colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. I could evacuate you. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. Fair enough. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. Well, I'll, I'll talk to you when I, I learn do. more. Good luck, Commander. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. Hmm. Wife's condition. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Can I help? What can I do? Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Hmm. Colony. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fidan if you really want Why can't you tell me? Fidan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? Hmm. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, I can't think of any reason for an attack like this. We just wanted to build a home. Ferris. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. Personal question. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. I have to go. It hurts so much when I think about what we've lost. Doctor who's only <laughs> worried about his wife right now. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. You need food? Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Hunting Varen. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending on the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Colony. Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. <laughs> you tell me. Why should I speak to Fidan? I Fidan? don't want to talk about that right now. Huh. Speak with Fidan. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure. A new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. I have to go. So long, Commander. So, Varen meat. And the tunnels. So, basically, talk to everyone, get information. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. Magical teleportation standing. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Normandy's power cells. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. I'll see what I can if do. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Macadoyle. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. What's wrong Is there with anything the water? I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. Colony. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows Pharos. the colony best. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Fidan or one of the others. Well, okay. I have to go. I wish you luck. Greta Reynolds. Not the best shot, but I'll do what I can. Just talk to everyone, get all things squared away. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Nay. What's your name, Solarian? 
My full name is Gorat II Heranon Maldinest God Inost Ledra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. What do you have for sale? Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Even all the way out here is like here. Have a specialty thingy. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish. I suppose it could be worse. <laughs> Can you fly it? What's wrong with the ship? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. First don't. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those Geth come over the walls. What are you doing? Looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on? I should hmm. go. What's the matter? Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. There's something fishy about this place. Lots of people don't want to talk about things. Just talk to Faye Dan. Just talk to Faye Dan. Well, I guess let's head into the tunnels. Look for water, meat, and power. Elevator to the Skyway. Go ahead and summon. Well, not summon. My brain's still locked on what the diddly D was saying. Elevator. Stairs down to the tunnels. Guess I'll do everything in the tunnels because I think this is the side area for now. The skyway might lead to Exogeni. Stairway calls for assault. Oh god! There is What the hell is that human doing down here? Now that we're in the tunnel aspect. I have sight lines. Something's angry in here. Garrus, you locked and shot for the, the Geth. Whose side are you on? Once again, whose side are you on? This is at least one water valve. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. I may be dumb, but I can... Ah, okay. I thought that maybe we'd go around. Looks like we can. Why the Geth assault drones look like normal assault drones? Ah, transmitter. Rogan. I wasn't even trying to kill you. I hired a batch of Krogan. To defend the transmitter. Ah, it's just a shoot, shoot. Oh, 
shooting the goddamn wall behind it. Ridiculous. Well, at least that's out of the way. It says I should be able to continue to go right, but it didn't look like that. Maybe there's a way around. Deeper in. It's possible we may have pissed off the guest. don't want to go down there. Who are you? What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be. Anything I shouldn't. No! Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. Are you okay? What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. What do you Who mean? Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the... Ah! I'm trying to get to the... Dying! Yeesh, my dude. <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. Can I help him? Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting? Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask by Dan. Ask him about the. Ah! Heads up. He is weird. Ask Fight Dan about the something. Oh. There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking. Kind of wish these were more obvious. Let's see. Maybe over here, but it looks like we can go deeper. Well, probably not. I have to keep a lookout for anything. Can this go up? No. And then it's just that, so... Else, my dude. My mind is my own. My mind is my own. My mind is my own. I did say there's probably more. But this is like the second place, so I don't think that I missed any. that that still works. Ah, there we go. There! 
That did it. The system is active. Well, I guess we could head back to Zeus Hope for now. Come back down to the highway. After we talk to people, let them know that their water should be running. Talk about the crazy guy. That they can holster my weapons at last. So he's a crazy guy who's somehow invoking pain in his brain to remind himself that he's still alive, but isn't something of, hmm. What kind of mind control are you using, dude? Commander, what can I do for you? Strange behavior. Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones. Friends. What about the crazy guy These in the tunnels? These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. Stop the Geth. I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Is there anything I can do to Maka solve it? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. Let's talk about Zeus Hope of course, Commander. Man in the tunnels. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. No kidding. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Medicaid. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. You don't want to talk about your dude? You could probably help. We're getting up there in Paragon. Commander, is there something I can help you with? I have to go. It hurts so much. Wish I could I ask him. You're the designated off. doctor here. Seriously, there's something weird going on in this place. Like, more than just people acting strange. The water should be working now. Um. Fuck, I think she's broken. I'll make a quick save and reload that save. See if reloading causes her to actually function again. There we go. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the get and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank a few you credits. A few credits. She says. As she hands me just an absolute hell ton of money. In fact, I think that may very well have been like a hundred thousand. At least 10,000. But yeah, even then, 10,000 credits. Utter madness. Alright, we'll head down. Well, I guess up and then down. Back into the tunnels. Into the highway, I guess. See if we can get power cells. See if we can find just anything down there. Like the more Varen, I think they call them. I wish I could sprint faster. Let's see. So yeah, we need to head to the collapsed highway street. There's a lot of infrastructure here. Let's 
seems like a lot of infrastructure for a small colony. Really, I'm just wondering what exogenized. Ah, who are these bastards? They tried to ambush us, but failed. The Varen falls dead, riddled of slugs. This must be the alpha male, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. Sludge canister? The fuck? The old disabled vehicle is more willing to part of its still functioning power cell than one would expect. This is acting like this is really big. Why is it acting like it's really big? That's weird. Why is the game acting like this place is big? That's the creepy part. Alright. We defeated their... So really, this part of the tunnel should be pretty safe for now. We just need to go to the Skyway next. Well, at least we can go tell them. Power cell. Talk to everyone. No, seriously, everyone was just like, talk to Fei Dan, talk to Fei Dan, even the crazy guy. Ask Fei Dan about. But hopefully once we turn in the quests, we'll be able to inform Fei Dan, hey, we did all this for your colony. Uh, mind telling us what the actual hell is actually going on? Garrus just teleported next to me. The magic teleporting alien. Say hello. We'll go turn in the food. Well, not really turn in the food, but let them know that the Alpha Varen is dead. Hello again, Commander. The Alpha Male is dead. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I'm not going to say pay up. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. Really, even... All you can spare is probably too much. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. No problem. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Take a look at these. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, my dad gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Take these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up Some requisition no money. 31,000. Look how much Paragon we are. We are the most Paragon. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and max out my sniper. be assault trained. I guess I'll max out your dampening. Oh, I guess, yeah, you just went to lie down, literally. I, I, I can't. This work must be completed. This work must be completed when all that work is, is looking at a diagnostics. Maybe the Solarian has something going on. Commander, what can I do for you? The colony. Life is hard, but despite everything, there's something tranquil about Strange this place. Behavior. Some of the colonists. We've been right? over this, Commander. The colonists. There's a guy living down that in the town. That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems he to has, be. We tried to help. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. I wish it. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. 
What do you need Getting done? rid of the... But there's... I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. I'll talk to you when I learn. Alright. He does it. Odd that we can't actually talk to him about completing all of those. But, yeah, it's just more Geth attack. We did all the side things. Well, at least so far. But I do believe that's it for the tunnels, so let's go skywalking. Ah, uh, no conversation in the derelict elevator. Watch out! I don't know how much more I can take. When did the Mako get here? And go ahead and save. Also, I'm just gonna say that it is utterly hilarious that just and completing. Now to get things. Something an intelligent mind expects to see. Come on, let me shoot. Let me shoot. Kind of been shooting that out of the sky. I'm used to fighting your colossus. See if there's a no, nope, just straight ahead. Any sign of movement? This could still be in there. It's only been a few days. A few days against Geth? These barricades and stuff would have more weight to them. Wait. Oh. Thank you for informing me about your little hidey hole. Geth boy. Great, now I have half a mind to go looking for even more. Now I have half a mind to go looking over the bridge again, looking for hidey holes like this. But I think it was intentional putting an enemy there to let you know, hmm, where's that enemy? I see an enemy on the radar, but they're not there. Game, stop. Take a quick glance around. Yeah, from the looks of it, most of the. Well, maybe. This might be a hidey hole, too. Nope, that one's sealed. Maybe this one? Nope, they're all sealed except for that one. Weird. Are they just constantly firing? Why? Hmm. Can I go over? Nope, invisible wall it seems like. I just figured maybe I could go down there because... It was on the map. Like a little slice that... And also those lasers are coming out of nowhere. I find that hilarious. What the hell are these? We've got movement. Some kind of vehicle. Not one of the guests. They must be close enough to see it. Dealing with the guests is more important. Making sure people are alright. Also very important. Exogeni security. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. 
Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Here to help. Commander Shepard. I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. You're not alone. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. <laughs> they survived, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I understand that. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. <laughs> the Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. Man, you're crazy. That's my daughter crazy. you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is she? Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. <laughs> okay, that line read is amazing. I'll find She's her. She's in there. I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Reasons for Do attack. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. Colony information. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. Why did what you brought come? You here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. What about Zeus Hope? How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. You still could. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Exogeny facility. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. And Elizabeth location. Where is your daughter? Somewhere Juliana? at the Exogeny headquarters. I'll, I'll stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Of course. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Okay. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? <laughs> no catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. <laughs> I might be able to help. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Okay. And data. Tell itself. me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods. I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. At least that removes the ambiguity ambiguity of him wanting to get the data and stuff. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my mm, liking. Too much oversight? Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. And reason for the attack. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, that's for smarter men than me to figure out. I have no idea what anyone would want with this ruin. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Don't worry, my man. 
Seems simple enough. Dang it, I have to come back down just to. Hmm, I wonder why he is highlighted. Or is it something above that's highlighted? Wish there would be an icon. Alright, so information on freelancer prototype mods. Looking for a missing daughter. And the eternal oddity of everything else. this easy to destroy. Oh. Huh. That's a bit odd. Sounds like somebody might be scavenging... Espionage. Because they. It sounded way too confident to be normal refugees of this crisis, if you ask me. Hell. If anything, I could probably think that they might have brought the Geth down on this place. They sounded so confident. I guess we're tracking the calm, apparently. Get ship flying overhead. I saw enemy signs rolling into this. The guests certainly don't waste time. Resistance will be extremely heavy once we are inside. Open. Switching to precision. Well, great. There's tons of up and down in this place. My favorite. Making sure there's no secrets about this place. A jam signal. On foot. Why? But only for that stretch, that was weird. Hmm, 
can't imagine there would be anything underneath, but... Hmm, somebody's getting shot in there. Might be those scavengers. At least I assume they're scavengers. There's just no way that it's someone innocent with how much they're talking about like getting out and stuff. Commander Hacker in the house. That's... Yep. Knew you were gonna wake up. You see, just the clear white. It's totally gonna come and try and eat me. This way is blocked to the upper levels, but there's a drop down point. We can't scratch this field. We need another way in. Another way in is. This looks down like here. a one way drop, Commander. And I'm. Yeah, because we don't have any upper body strength. More Varen. Hey, you are alive. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth or one of those Varen. This is the second time I've been shot at by you at, saved a, me. at by a fellow human. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. Don't worry. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... You can tell. I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that, exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. Interesting. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Fair enough. You know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. Hmm, geth attack. Why do you think the geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the geth would care. Why would you call Exogeny it a Thorian? Exogeny was studying it, but... I don't think they found anything special. The Thorian itself. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years even. Personal question. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She did. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Will do. Let's get you going. Stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. I have no idea how you survived being down here, surrounded by that many. Well, let's head out. Let's try and see how far we can get before I have to shut down for the night. We've been screaming a freaking long time. Again. Stupid machine! Access encrypted files! No, I don't want to review protocol. Yeah. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! 
please contact your supervisor for a level four security exemption or make an appointment with stupid machine <laughs> if there is nothing else please step aside there is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console lol stupid machine indeed Clear. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? I need answers. Information was the last user attempting to access. Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Go on. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. Thorian is placed at Zoo's Hope as a... T I, th I was gonna say that! I was gonna say that! I was gonna freaking say, it's just like, hmm, all the weird people, the exogeny core separated from them. It feels like they're using Zeus Hope as a staging ground for some reason. Hello there, Imcat. This is indeed a first playthrough. This is very intriguing so far. What did you say? What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus Hope outpost. And this is what Saren wants. Me everything you know about the Thorian. I love how it's like, this is what Ther Saren wants. Doesn't mention Saren at all in the voice line. Uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Control Group? Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. No wonder they were behaving so strangely. Your pilot should be warned. Ooh, okay, exciting. I love Mass Effect and people reacting to it. Huzzah. Because... It was like, I'm just really interested because it's like the aspect of doing things then in the first game, then they carry over to the second and third. It's like very intriguing and I can't wait to see where Joker. it goes. I'm in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We need to drop that field and get back to Zeus' home. <laughs> Agreed. P.I. What can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Hmm. Lizbeth. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, research assistant, biomedical division. Security level four exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. I love the qu quotation what marks. What triggers probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, yeah, for some people just straight go into game two, completely disagree with that personally. I can understand it to a degree because the first game might be more clunky compared to Mass Effect 2, but so far I've been enjoying it, except for a few bits with Mako, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Thorian. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected Only with weeks. spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. So it the was a... Was quarantined it's entirely possible. The no, because if Lisbeth knew, Within then her mother would know. Days, of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. How big is it? What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it received data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. How smart is intelligent? It? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. 
It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently so that's what the, I think I and the dude in the tunnels was talking about. He was fighting against it, and I think the Thorian is granting mild psychic capability to people. If the wife and Ion in the tunnel are anything to go by, how does it control people? You know people? how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain. If yeah, that's fair, but there are some moral the decisions or to my book, and you know, are just very important to the game. Even minor and that I definitely way. agree with. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in and plus, I just kind of like the idea that some of the small things I do might carry over, and I'm interested in seeing that. craftsman <laughs> avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where can I find it? I'd thing. like to say hello. The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. Hmm. Exogeni. I want to know about Exogeni Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who runs this facility? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. I guess finally let's ask about the Geth again. What do you know about the Geth? I'll probably give the same answer. I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. Yeah, same again. It's an RPG, so I think it's supposed to carry your character throughout the series. Yep. That's the big thing That's about this. Now. You Go play the same character with the same stuff. And, like, all your decisions carry through. So it's just like, I'm waiting for the other ball to drop. And for the possibility of me running into a, Oh, if you do something wrong, this companion dies! Or you can save this companion. Like, that's such a big thing that you could do. And other people would run into... Silence phone. Then other, like, other people might... Run into the ability, like, uh... Oh, it died. <laughs> it just... I killed it so fast, it just went stand, stood up to die. But yeah, like... Some players might save one character. Other players might not have the ability to save a character and then they go into like the second and third games missing that character it's like such big things could change but at the same time it is also entirely possible that it is like and i hope this isn't it but it is entirely possible this could run into a starcraft 2 problem where like oh you have choices but then the choices are minimal and hardly come back, and are basically cameos to a degree. But considering how much I've heard about Mass Effect, and like, oh, it's so good, the trilogy of maybe not the ending Tron 9000, but overall the... The overall experience is really, really good from what I hear. So, I'm excited to experience it for myself. Thank you for killing the Leaper. The Krogan was just running at me like a maniac. Die, Krogan. But yeah, so far the only thing that I've, like, majorly begrudged is how you accrue, like, Paragon and, uh, after a few seconds to download, you secure Gavin Hustle's design. Ah, yay. But, like, uh, is how you accrue Paragon points and, uh, you level up charm because if then again I did go and do a ton of side quests I think I've done like the majority of side quests potentially 
So it's entirely possible that I played things in optimally, especially considering how many freaking Paragon points I've gained just by doing this section of Pharos. So it's entirely possible. It's like, no, you're supposed to go do main quests alongside side quests, but I'm paranoid and want <laughs> to, like, uh, have the most as that is possible. Oh, we're on this side now. Then I guess we can meander to uh, the midden. Yeah, no, I don't really get, uh, get on with my brother, but he'd go Mass Effect as a present for me years ago. God. Yeah. Super neat. But yeah, in the end, despite my minor gripes overall, he's having a grand old time. Although the PC version of the hacking minigame is a little wonk. I begrudge that as well. I will aim at you, and you're off. That usually works. Aha, it did. Confidential. The test samples were due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect the samples became volatile and recommend cutting off all further contact with the Neca Notacrux colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the events there back to us. Bastards. Utter bastards. Exogeny is going down. Same as before. We don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. What if we punch the claw? The claw! Oh! Leaper. They're even using Omni tools. Die, Gep Destroyer. Commander Shepard, a containment lab of some kind. Dang it, I missed. One claw on the ship. Perimeter secure. Oh, and I guess another thing that I slightly begrudge, it's mostly just quality of life, is. I wish that the Omni-Gel scrapping system was a bit better. Private log of Dr. Gamoral. I don't trust this Cerberus group. They may pay us well, but if this gets out before we've developed an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want the samples for, or why they wanted them delivered to the Matano system. My record shows nothing of interest out there. Well, I've already destroyed Cerberus. Good. Could I have saved my boy? Kohaku. If I came here first, I was like, oh, I could go to the Matino system. And then I went to the Matino system and I destroyed Cerberus before he got involved. I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be upset. Hmm. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is. 30 or lower, and the safety shutoff kicks in if the PSI gets above 34. But if the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough force to shear through a metal eye beam. Metal eye beam. The, the thing caught, caught me off guard in my reading. Somebody fix this before one of my team loses an arm in that thing. Aha! On. Do we have to go do something? Or... Hmm. We might have to go. Oh.
I think I already did that one. Yeah, the one- I already did that combination, I am dumb. But yeah, the one thing that I dislike, um, moral choosing games is precisely because, uh, I overthink things and I'm like, hmm, could I have done this differently? It's entirely possible that Kohaku is dead either way, but I just fear. I just fear. Get out of here, shipman. But I think at the same same time, I don't think that the development now. team would be now that cruel. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. It probably was. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore there, party. Fuck off, Geth. Hey, leave Tally alone. But Geth, yes. This is shore party. Is we destroyed joking? Geth. What's going on over there? We're in lockdown. No time for the Black Parade. The colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. Freaking out. Yeah, they're going crazy because they're possessed by a, a plant. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. <laughs> Everyone stay close. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Oh, it's saying that I, I should go this way, but this is, might have a thing. Technically does. <laughs> but yeah, the way this is going, I can't believe that the original had a one to sixty level range. Like I I kind of fear what the point distribution would be like. Oh, but oh no. <laughs> The, the rubble made me think, oh no, did I, uh, is this not the way to go? Is this blocked? I hear things and it scares me. Once again, it shows multiple points of interest. It worries me. Wait, we went. We I got turned. Did I get turned around? Oh yeah, we've already been here. Or have we? I'm. I think I'm losing my. Mind. Nope, we're over here. It's. I saw this tally. Why is the AI going nuts? Run away. Looks like we have to backtrack anyway. Because for some reason the AI just loves to get stuck on stuff sometimes. All right, let's see. Need to head... That way, I... Ah, I missed it. Thank you, glitch thing, because I was able to there see. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. In a minute. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. Okay, that's definitely the attack, beyond the pale. I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, I, I never meant for this to happen. Considering that you have a probationary, ah, oh, you got uppity with us. I believe you. You did what you could. I'll help you if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. Ah, that's what they were monitoring. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. Come in, Joker. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Good. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. We're gonna have to stop by. Yay, more Paragon! Slowly but surely, I demand more Paragon juice. Just 
Slowly but surely, I will unlock level 11 Paragon. And then nobody will be able to resist my charm. But yeah, we're gonna head back and I'm gonna have choice words for some people. rocket span level up time I missed with the cannon I am terrible but at the same time come to think of it I guess I'll mix out my sniper go ahead and do that get that squared away More assault for you. Just go ahead and take those. I, was, uh, I had a thought, pro a thought, and then it went away. I just hope I don't hit max level before I unlock all the charm. That would be kind of sad. Sorry, but you are too experienced to be a good person. Go stop, to. Stop, did they go to the Zeus Hope? I'm well, concerned that she's leaving here. What the hell is going on, Exogeny? I probably should have saved. You can't do this, John. Everyone, shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! I knew this guy was too nuts to be sane. <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. <laughs> Stay calm, you maniac. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. We broke laws. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, John. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Species 37. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form. How do you not know? Hope. It's Lady? It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna- No! This is the one thing I hate. I thought I already did everything that I could possibly do. He's like, oh, sorry. I hate this. This is the one thing I hate. Maybe it's a holdover of the original Mass Effect 1 game design of, oh yeah, people can do a game plus it. But it's just like, Come on, let me level up charm. Let me actually get all the dialogue. Yeah. I really do hate that. I can't let you do this. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I'll deal with ah. the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. When I get caught in the clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetracloquine, a neuromuscular degenerator. 
If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. We might be able to adapt a concussion grenade to deploy it. I'll do it. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. We'll stay out of your way until you equip... At least I got some. I'm just... Oh, sorry. You didn't do enough Paragon stuff when I've done, like, so much of the game already. Oh, that annoys me. That annoys me a lot. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. No problem, freelancer. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. I have half a frickin' mind to replay through this game on New Game Plus just so I can actually do all the Paragon dialogue things before carrying over to Mass Effect 2, because that honestly pisses me off. And kind of makes me scratch my head of what the hell am I supposed to do in this game. You go and do side stuff, you run into a bunch of, oh sorry, you don't have the Paragon for that. You go and do main stuff, oh you don't have the Paragon for that. Also, if you punch them, that knocks them out, too. Oh, that's nice to know. So if I run out of grenades, at least I have a backup. But yeah, it's just kind of very annoying that one of the first missions that you can do in the game, that the game kind of tells you to do, oh, yes, main story, has a 11 or 12th level charm gate. And it's just like, I haven't gotten a charm upgrade in like forever. I've earned like triple the amount of Paragon points since I've maxed this out. And the game is just like, oh no, you need more. And it's probably, I'm probably like two away. Oh fuck, it's a zombie. Don't shoot. Don't shoot! I'm not sure if- What was that creature? I could save him, though. It certainly wasn't human. Careful, no leave the colonists. colonists. Even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Very well, Command. Let's go. I will save, just in case. I forget if I've saved recently. Yeah. don't seem to matter, the creepers. At least there's that. Thank you, little thing, for telling me how many are still alive. Here it comes. At least that has a decent splash radius. All targets down. I think my most major complaint is definitely... How dare you. I'm gonna quickly check on the dude in the tunnel. Because maybe, because he has to be important somehow. Maybe he, I can punch him a bit. It's entirely possible that he is resisting enough that the Thorian civilians have left him alone only because of the Geth. 
The fire almost sounded like Thorian creepers rising up to eat me. Let's see if I can at least see him. That's uh, hard to see. I want to check on you, my boy. This is probably entirely fruitless, but I want to see. Oh, well, maybe they took him. <laughs> I just realized something that's kind of funny and kind of sad. That if you were just to play this game casually, and only do like, oh yeah, this mission interests me, and just like casually do things, follow the main mission. You would miss so many Paragon opportunities. So it's just like, why is the Paragon Renegade system built this way? Play the role of a character that we decide if you're enough of a character to character. Just is funny and annoying at the same time. Hopefully, like, I swear, if he's one of the few things that could have carried over, I'd be angry. And again, why is it a 11 or 12 level charm check? Angry. I am angry. Guess I'll change to this. Yeah, it seems very generous with the blast radius, at least. Thank you for that game. Thank you for being generous. Damn thing caught it. Down colonist. Ah, it only takes one punch. Perimeter clear. Oh, it's locked. I guess so I couldn't flank them, maybe. But thank you for the reminder that I can punch them and they go down easy. Because I hardly ever use. The, the melee function. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I'm supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. You have gr the grenades. Stop you, but I won't. I wonder if I could have saved him. God damn it, game. Well, apparently he didn't count as a colonist, so I'm going to assume that bad things aren't that bad. I think that was this part of the ship that uh, the wife was in. Music? In universe or what? <laughs> the music almost. Are you telling me? The game gave me the fucking point that I needed after! Well, at least this means that I can get that and have all the dialogue options. So I miss one Paragon thing so long as I level up before thing happen. I swear to God. 
Alright, that's terrifying. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> Sorry, but I do love the music. The music is pretty decent from time to time. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine. How did you not see it while we walked in here, Tally? Keeper, what is that? That's a plant. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. And they said they only found a tendril a meter long before. They let this get out of hand. You better not drop a humanoid at me. It's afraid. That's get. That looked like a geth mount. What the fuck? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or deep. Are the Asari part plant? Growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. I'm here to make a deal. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh barely given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Let the colonists I won't go. Let you keep your thralls. Release them now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed. I wonder if I could have gone through that without violence. Maybe it'll throw another clone out to talk. Still. I shall snipe it. Could've, uh, I wonder if I picked the wrong dialogue choice to, like, bargain with it. Considering that this is, like, a full-on, full-on boss fight, I'm not sure. It's throwing out another Asari clone, or will, or will it be- nope, it's an Asari clone. I don't know why you're not activating. Oh, is there another head? Another head gave out the clone. That's what I'm getting. Oh, great. It's infecting me. Quit making creepy noises. Nobody likes you. Yes, 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 I'm taking on a lot of things, but come on. You cannot expect me to go in and omni-gel my wares in the middle of a boss fight. What the hell is that? I still hate that the minimap doesn't tell me from up or down do enemy come. Anything, really. Being able to tell if a point of interest is up or down would come in handy. Dang it. I really wish I could just shoot them like... Come on, let me kill them. Sure 
would have bargained. Sorry, clones, for all their jibber jabber. How did I? How did I miss you? I'm terrible. I'm the worst sniper in all the alliance. Why is there so much? Yes, yes, yes. I know. I know. I can only take 300, and I'm dangerously near that. But I will go through it at the end. Like, uh, off screen, because that's not content. I want a no scope so bad. I want to be a cool boy. Lol. Oh. Huh? Oh. Definitely feels like the plant version of Star Trip tro uh, Starship Troopers. It is afraid. How the hell did I miss that? At least there, the biotics of this one isn't throwing me around like the CEO Chairman ship ones were. I think it's biotics. Again. Wait, maybe I can just shoot it from here? <laughs> nope. Hit hitbox is in the way. Oh, is it it's proximity based! Or not, that one's just highly fortified. For a moment, I thought it was just like, oh, it's proximity damage base. That's that's, that's actually smart. No, it's just uh, more hardier than the other tentacles. Or maybe it was proximity based. More clones. Do you want to talk now? Are you the final piece of the consciousness? I'm free. Oh. I, I so killing that bastard was the good thing. Okay. Me. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or I was making fucking will be clones of you. My name is Shiala. Clothes and everything. I, serve. I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Uh. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Oh, there's more to this. Sorry, matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Even the Gether, as, as a species, is probably younger than her. Ever seen. He calls it sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. And you got I was plant a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. You were planted in there? He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. And Saren then you traded, yeah. Trade, 
I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's horrible. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What does it do? What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched really? them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a Yeesh. So the Cypher is knowledge. So the Thorian I mean, taught Saren things is, like a Prothean. Agree. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. Red To understand, is warm. you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. There has to be some way. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. Oh, because you are... I can transfer the knowledge yeah. from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Your psychic species. Try to relax, species. Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace but I fear the universe. And now I am Commander Brothia. Freaky. Is that a sun? Is it a nuke? Is it a, a nuke the size of a sun? Oh, no. That reminded me of the Rachne. That's probably a Reaper. That begin with R. Why do you look suspic uh, suspicious of me? I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? Don't worry, I'll be fine. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You I would probably have asked you to In do time, it anyway. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Hmm. Sovereign. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know We're how all it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known space-faring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating, its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. It controls minds. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. The matriarch. I want to know more about what's, she, what's going on with her. Benezia be was saved? greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. 
As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not. I'm pretty make sure the same every mistake. person besides me that has come in contact with Saren has underestimated him. What else can you him. tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful. He's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. The Thorian. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't see And it see somehow was making so clones of you. So Clothes ancient. and all. It's exactly Guns and all. It's impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. You almost sound sad. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I'm grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. And I guess finally, personal questions. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. And they were but right. I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. And finally, what should I do with now you? Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. A noble the idea. will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. And now... Final charm. Hell yeah. At least that means I only missed one singular thing. Sad, but I will live with it. I didn't like that character guy anyway. I don't think he would have uh, added much to the universe. And now let's just talk to people. Hey, Gavin, he moved to terminal up here. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get on. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiela. Cool that you can actually talk to her Farewell, again. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Maybe I can talk to the wife now. I'm gonna save after all of that. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to everybody here, and then I think I'm just gonna end, because... I've been going for way too long. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. <laughs> Floating Omni Tool! Floating Omni Tool! Thorian's influence, every thought was examined, filtered. What are your plans what now? What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me Did see if you get anything you new while you were taking it while I was away. Gotta talk to everybody. Thank you for everything you did. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. Everybody's just lying down. This will definitely not look good for Exogeny. Free. Hey, you I live! I believe I'm free. Good for you, boy. I'm free. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. Tried to do? I succeeded. We only suffered two deaths. One because game mechanics, and one because... Uh, he was so strong-willed that he killed himself. 
Finally, that damn thing is out of my hand. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. It will take time to get back to normal amount. Thank you for freeing us. But at least that explains why everybody was pointing me to the the leader. I was like, hey, can you tell me about the colony? He's like, ah, oh, ask him. It's because he was one of the last people fighting off the, the Thorian, at least to a degree. Enough that he uh, wasn't hurt by thinking his own thoughts as much. We'll head back to the ship. I will save. I'll give my wrap-up thoughts. Second thought. We'll go on, I'll talk to everybody, and then we'll save. Stand by, shore party. Cleanse us of the Thorian spores. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the Cypher? I feel strange. The cypher shook me up a bit. I had alien I species shoved you. into my brain. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Go ahead. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have to live through this again. Technology and tentacles and stock sound effects. Mass Effect is an anime. We're seeing the same thing we saw five minutes ago again. Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. So there was nothing useful? You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Now what? What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Uh, Become lightheaded. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Are you okay? Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. <laughs> go We're ahead. done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Go right ahead. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. Corporation. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Hmm. That wouldn't work. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Yep. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I help everyone. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Uh, at least I maxed out my paragon. Well, no, I haven't maxed out my paragon. But I have maxed out my charm. Alright, we're gonna go talk to everyone. And then I do believe that that will be it for now. Because we went far, far longer than I was intending to go. Once again, this game is just engrossing. It eats my soul. Yo, Caden, you weren't there, but what'd you think? I walk up slowly to you, as I always do. 
Anything you need, Commander? Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. Make him wait. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. <laughs> Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. It can blame Wanting them. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Burnus. You forgave him? I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Burnus. Before I met Burnus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. It's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. And what happened? I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You tried you to, help. to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans <laughs> too. Fair enough. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Yeah, to some degree. Company accepted, of course. <laughs> oh, you poor fool. I'm the most insane there is. We'll check requisition, talk to Garrus, Rex, Ashley, and Tally. Dr. Tassoni, I keep forgetting about because she's in medical. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've you got. You bet, Commander. Armageddon X. So, Garrus, what'd you think? Commander, I wanted to thank you. We've already been through this, I believe. I don't have time oh. for this. Goodbye, Commander. I, ha I hate to hurt your feelings, my sir, my dude, but we've already been over that. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? Tassoni? <laughs> Why's that? Liara. Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. Hmm. That's cool. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her. Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. Anyway, interested in a quick drink? It's a special occasion. Occasion? What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Hmm. I'm flattered. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? Your files are clean. There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. 
Yeesh. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. How can I help? I should have figured this out myself. I don't know how I can help you, though. Look at who I am, Shepard. Do you ever hear me ask for help? It's not that bad things don't happen to me. If you stay with me long enough, maybe I'll tell you about some of them. But I deal with them myself. I don't need a shoulder to cry on, a knight to rescue me, or a man to make me happy. This is who I am. I like her. And you better like her too. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Of course. Everyone comes with baggage, Ash. The trick is finding a match set. <laughs> That's awful. Tell me you got that out of a fortune cookie. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. <laughs> Commence the saving. We better get going then. Seems I've got something to look forward to after we're done. More than you know. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. Personal inquiry. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Adventures? Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I think I've met him. <laughs> I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. <laughs> Ouch. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. Hmm. Who got him? Which one of you made it first? It was a tie. <laughs> I brought back his head. She got the rest of him. As far as I know, we both got That's paid. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. Then what? So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> he always was a bit of a softy. What about the fight? What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. Did Lena get out? I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, 
Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive <laughs> that, well, they deserve to live. At least for a bit longer. <laughs> and the Volus? What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive, and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. <laughs> you told him that. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Now that's funny. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. That's a cool story. Like, I feel like that could be a movie all its own. I'm gonna save just on the offhand chance of fear. Talk to Tally, and then I think that'll be it. Hey, Shepard. Oh, you oh. need something? Nothing new. I should go. See you later. Then I think that is it. We've been going for way too long. Because, yeah, he's just like, this Garrus is the same. Oh, I just want to say thank you. you. The same thing over again. We went through that conversation like three times. Because it's like, maybe it's different this time. Maybe he's thanking me for something new. No, it's always Dr. Celion, Dr. Hart. But this was a grand old time. We did another main mission. I got high level Paragon. Almost max Paragon now, but max Charm. Hell yeah. No need to worry about Charm anymore. I can do everything, which is nice. But still annoyed that it took me so long because the game is just like, oh yeah, here's all these cool dialogue options. And then it's just like, but you have to work for them very, very hard. It took me five, five streams in to get all the paragon points to level up my charm enough and I still missed out on one paragon choice that I couldn't skip because <laughs> I don't think there was any way of leaving the planet without completing the quest so there was no way in hell that I was going to be able to save that poor guy ah, it hurts but we did it we did all the missions there next time We'll continue on with the main story because I don't think. Well, actually, next time we'll go to the Citadel, glance around, see if there's anything that changed because we did a main mission, and then we'll go on and do things because I don't think there's any new dibbity da kind of things going on. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, I have two YouTube channels that sometimes get uploads an archive channel where I throw the videos archives of these here streams called Neon Icy Games and then I also have an edited content YouTube channel that I swear I upload to every once in a while very much I'm trying trying to get something going there again just simple videos someday and if you're one of those people that are watching on the archive channel you can watch me play these games live at Neon Icy Wings twitch.tv Slash Neon Icy Wings. I flipped it again because I'm a fool. Then I also tried to do art on Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and. DeviantArt, Tumblr, Twitter. Oh, yeah, I think I left Twitter. Yeah. Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye bye.